Huh? Hey, what's up? Good to see you. How y'all doing? Welcome back, chat. Hello, hello, everybody. It is time for some Zomboid Comma Project. Good to see everybody back. Man, yesterday was an absolute mess. I'm I'm so sorry for that mess. Oh my god, all the members and such. That was uh, that was a nightmare. The amount of lag that we had. Oh man, we 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 were asking the game to do a lot. We had 16 people piled onto a server to go to the mall, and it was just heinous and just like destructive. But it was fun. So to anybody who got bit, sorry. Hopefully Rick will come around soon to uh, cure any of your bites. And uh, yeah, because that a lot of that was kind of BS due to the lag. But we still had fun. And that's kind of how Project Zomboid goes. I swear, most, like, I swear, at least 75% of my deaths have been, like, due to lag. Although yesterday was pretty funny when I played on the server that me and uh, Jessica B and uh, also um, Jerry kind of started, I guess. What are we going to do today? Well, we're going to go to Louisville. And we're going to uh, try to start transporting weapons and ammo over there. So, um, Rick has, I think, the keys to the purple van that we left at the mall. And he also has keys to that green Land Rover that we also left at the mall. So both of those are, like, fully loaded with, like, ammo and food and medicine and stuff. So, yeah, there you go. New member goal. Yes, if we hit ten new members, uh, there's a chance that maybe I'll, I'll do a giveaway in the Discord. I say a chance because, like... Sometimes I randomly do giveaways without even hitting the goal, so... But if you guys want uh, a big old giveaway, I guess I could make that happen. Um, but yeah. Uh, you love my vids so much, good vibes, back to lurking, much love. Thanks for watching, dude. Yeah, no, yeah, no need to lurk or anything like that either. You guys can just say hi in the chat. and The like, chat doesn't need to write... You guys sometimes don't need to like write massive sentences expressing how much you love the channel. Just being here is like the best, so thank you very much. So even putting a 1 in the chat or a hi or whatever is cool too. So thanks for the support. You went to the biggest city all the way northeast. It's crazy. That would be Louisville. Yep. So our goal today is to... It's, it's going to be a convoy mode. So get your Tucker hats, brothers. Because I'm going to be driving stuff back and forth to the checkpoint and finding out where I want to put a base. If Rick comes around, I'll coordinate with him. But I'm going to go back to our base and load up a... I'm going to find a vehicle and just jump back and forth to see what's going on. <laughs> Deletes his essay. Oh, you don't have to do that. Like, s sh smaller messages are just a little easier to read. Like, in Project Zomboid, if, if I'm in a big zombie fight and someone, like, drops a fat super chat with, like, a four-paragraph question, it's like, okay, you're going to have to hold on a second there, Chief. Just a minute. But there you go. Those entertaining streams e eat up my mornings? Yeah, well, the zombies like to eat me up, too. Thank you. I'll be here all week. All right, let's jump back into the uh, dedicated server. dead -acated. As a reminder, those of you who are members are invited to the dedicated server. All you got to do is uh, click or tap that join button and uh, jump on. The information's on the members section. Thurston, you're invited, and all your friends that you've been hosting with, too. Everybody can come join. It's been good to see you play as well, Thurston. I've been watching a little bit, and it's nice to see you into the game. Bum, bum, bum. You have an idea? Uh, eat one team takes four, four players for each area. That might be good. Uh, so yesterday, by the way, when we cleared the mall, the game, it allowed the game to free up assets in other areas of the map. So when we killed like, I don't know, a thousand zombies at the mall or whatever crazy number it was, um, it made a thousand zombies start spawning in different parts of the map where other players were. So not only did people die at the mall, but like people who were just not at the mall um, and you were just like hanging out. Uh, also, also had some bad times. They had like 3,000 zombies spawn. Oh, I forgot I'm uh, probably going to die too because we, we've been bitten a lot. So I'm going to play for a little bit. And then when I start to die, I'm just going to ask Rick for like God mode or something. Because man, that, that lag was absolute, absolute trash. And th that's another frustrating thing too. Is like when you zoom out, it's like impossible to like, look at that lag. Even on single player. So I'm going to, I'm going to have to figure out what file to modify. It's not even like lag. It's more like. I just need to dedicate more assets to the, um... Wow, they built a whole fortress wall here. Damn. Nice work, boys. I'm guessing that the wall stops the zombies and the boxes stop them from climbing... Climbing over. Interesting. What's this game about? Two words, brother. 
Zombie survival. Oh, we're gonna have to keep an eye on health and stuff. Oh, okay. Your front door had a party? Yeah. Yeah, so I guess we'll have to know that for next time. Like, that... You wouldn't think that that would work that way, right? Like, if you're, um... I mean, I guess that's a, a good thing to know for next time, is that, like, okay, if you're playing on a server, and a bunch of people are about to go raid the mall, and they're gonna go start, like, tanking on zombies and, like, taking them down, um, you don't necessarily clear an area. It's more like, uh, the game just has this number in its mind, like, okay, one million zombies. That always have to be on the map at any given time. But they're not all rendered at any given time, so it's like... When you go kill a bunch of zombies at the mall, it just respawns the zombies you killed to other areas where players are or where zombies were killed from. It's kind of it's kind of weird how it works. So basically it's just going to kind of keep on like killing you or whatever by the numbers of, the sheer numbers of zombies that are going to be out there. Wow, this is a horrible horrible day to drive. What? The windshield blown out? Oh my god. That's well, gonna be hell. We can ditch this car, we just need to get back to the base. Okay. Dude, I can't, even with the headlights on, impossible to see the amount of fog. This is ridiculous. Yeah, it makes it so that way if you're going to clear a massive POI, you, d you, you definitely want to be with everybody who's clearing that POI. Because, like, if you're, if you're minding your own business in your little riverside base and you're doing some fishing and you're, like, maybe you're, maybe you're away from your base and then you think to yourself, oh, boy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die because you'll be surrounded by zombies. So it's like whatever. Pog fog. No pog to this fog. Is there a similar game to this, but first person? Uh, the closest thing I could equate to it is maybe um, Seven Days to Die a little bit with the whole base building and all that. Dying Light, well, I don't... Dying Light's good, though. This game and Dying Light are both good, but you don't. I don't think you really get to build a base in Dying Light. But still a good game, yeah. Just like this one. I don't know if I have a backup bandage. Is Daisy Daisy similar? Yeah, I, I've, I never played that one. Where the hell are we, dude? I can't even see at all. It's like noon, dude. That's ridiculous. Look at how thick the fog is, dude. It's like we're driving in the snow. That's crazy, dude. The worst part about this fog too is like if you're if you're out on the street, it's like the f I swear the fog doesn't affect the zombies' vision at all. Like if you're dead quiet, but you're close to them and they can see you, they can still see you through the fog as if like it weren't there. It's crazy. I'll rip your speedo for a bandage. No. Well, anyway, the new orders are to try to get everybody up to Louisville to the checkpoint to kind of convert that into a base. Rick was able to find a bunch of M16s there, and I guess we're just going to start dumping off stuff that we want to share so everybody... Because uh, it was really fun yesterday to do the zombie mall raid, but if we're going to go into Louisville, based on what we learned yesterday at the mall, we should probably all go together. And judging what, what, what I learned from playing with me and Jessica B., once Jerry joined, like this, I swear the zombie percentages went up in incredibly high. So I don't know how the game differs the uh, zombie spawn rate versus like. Sorry, not now. I don't know how it changes the the spawn rate in a dedicated server versus like an individual host. I have no idea. 
Where are we now? We are at the drag strip, so we just gotta cross the bridge. I live in Kentucky, there should be more basements in this game. Yep, they're working on uh, basements. And actually, they hinted at NPCs coming very soon. Well, very soon, meaning I think it's gonna be the, the near future, next couple of updates, maybe. So anyway, goal one is to get back to base, and then goal two is hopefully Rick comes around, and while we wait for him, we'll probably go play CDDA again. I died in my other game with Jerry and Jessica, but I think what I what I would really like to do now is, once we're done here, I want to get everybody together and like we start talking mods. Like, we pick 15 mods, of, like five vehicle mods, five gun mods, and five like gameplay mods. And like we all agree to which ones we want. One more. But I think we should start with 15. Hi there, Tan. Good to see you. Thanks for all the Lego hearts. You hope the NPCs are traitors? I, there are NPC mods, too. That will be like... Some of them will try to kill you. Some of them will attack you and shoot at you. Would be cool to trade with NPCs, though. I wonder how that's going to work. I hope NPCs in this game actually like travel around, or maybe it'll be set up like how it is. <laughs> Sorry, in um, how it is in uh, State of Decay, where like randomly there'll just be people in a house and you can go trade with them. I don't know how they're gonna protect themselves though. I wonder. I wonder. Yeah, I hope it's not like a shop, like a fortified building or something like that. You know it'd be really funny though is if they had good items to trade, and then you could just like, um, if they had good items to trade, you could just like lead the zombies to them. And then like have the zombies eat them, if you wanted to get their stuff. But I'm sure they'll balance it somehow where like, maybe they'll have to be an XP level where you know, they won't. The more you keep them alive and the more you trade with them, the more items that'll unlock. That seems to be the easiest way to do it. Where, like, it takes XP. Alright, the van can basically be liquidated. That thing is a POS, unless Rick repairs it. Vans are good, though. Is that fog or smog? That's a zombie. Crap. Can you, can you die? Oh my god. I wonder if Nurse has a new video out today. Thank god. Did you know I'm Project Zomboid? It can rain. Alright, this car is basically a POS. I'm going to leave the uh, key in the ignition. We've been bringing all these vehicles back though, so that way we can salvage all the uh, equipment and stuff. take everything I can. Hopefully nobody sneaks up on me. Oh, the zombie was trying to reach me about my car's extended warranty? Well, hell. They shouldn't be trying to contact me about that, because they're going to be on the losing end of that. Oh, we have so many cool vehicles here and stuff. By the way, I just want to give another big O shout out to uh, Rick as well for uh, like hosting the server and moderating it and stuff in the in the back end. Oh, wait a minute. The purple van is back. But what about? Wait, is Rick on? No. It looks like the purple van made it back, unless that's a different one. Or he brought that back before he brought the uh, Land Rover. Okay, well, that's good. That's one less thing to worry about. Zombie bear soon? No. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to just throw all this stuff in the back of the van. Because I don't know... Um... We're going to probably end up transporting a lot of this stuff to the checkpoint, so I'm just going to throw everything in there. What's up, Brant? How you doing, dude? 
Is it possible to be self-sustainable in Project Zomboid where you grow your own stuff and whatnot? Yep. Yeah, the, uh, the thing though is that there are certain triggers in the game that will make it so that way you have to leave your base. Like for example, eventually your character will kind of become bored and so you have to go out and look for books and such, but you can get into, uh, you can get into combat. Did Zombie fix, did, sorry, did Rick fix the server with all the yesterday's deaths? Well, maybe some people appeal to him. I'm going to ask that he gives me God Mode to make up for all the bites, because dear God. We had so many people and so many guns, but there was so much lag and zombies like flying across the map and... Some of them, like, dropped in behind us off the roof and stuff, and that's cool, but, like, some of them were, like, flying and jumping out of nowhere, and you couldn't block and stuff like that, so... I just don't want anybody who was, like, a high level to get discouraged and not want to play because of... fun in Project Zomboid. Alright, let's see. But, yeah, everybody... That, I was asking everybody to go out on a big risk, and maybe not everybody was ready, so I don't want anybody to feel like they had to miss out on the fun, but also, like, like it's half and half. You don't want to miss out on the fun. Helmet from yesterday? No, we got plenty of those, though. And plus where we're going, the Louisville checkpoint. The Louisville checkpoint, there's a ton. Use the antidote? Oh yeah, let's do that. All you gotta do is press Q. Oh, never mind. Yo, Aeromax, welcome back. Is a Raptor Plus member, dude? I should start reading some puns. All right, well, we're back at base. Oh. Do I hear a little zombie? Oh, I certainly do. Zombies try to get in. There we go. Yeah, there's a military surplus. There's there's a lot of guns and ammo in Louisville. We haven't gone there before, but we're gonna we're gonna have to go look. We're getting ready for Louisville anyway. So if I'm going to do that, I want to make sure I can clear the oopsies that I had and then uh, start trucking up there. Multiplayer has some kinks in it. Yeah, there's some weird stuff like killing zombies, make zombies spawn somewhere else, which would be really annoying for somebody who like, let's say you spent all day and night clearing a city and... Then a bunch of people go clear the mall, and then, uh... And then zombies just start spawning out of nowhere. And you were like, what the hell? I just cleared that area. Like, if zombies are going to return, it should be gradually over time. The game should, like, spawn them near a city, and then have them, like, wander in. I'm not sure how it handles that, but it seems like they're... They kind of just like, if you're looking one direction, they'll just spawn behind you. Like wherever the player line of sight is not. Okay, well we're back at the base. We can start transporting stuff at the van. So we're ready to start the Louisville hauling. The uh, Tucker Hat mission can begin, but we need uh, Rick to be here to cure the oops. So, let's go play some CDDA for a little while while we wait for him. Hopefully he'll jump around whenever. Rick, are you in the chat, my friend? All right, this is going to be the hardest scenario. Let's g let's give this one a few runs. Have I talked to the developers? No, not personally. But it's nice to see after all this time the game finally popping off and a lot of people wanting to build bases and stuff in it. And like fight zombies and whatnot. It's kind of like what happened with Among Us, though not not that crazy. But Among Us was just Among Us was just like content creator bait. Because it just allowed everybody to collab and just copy paste the same like 100 IQ play, 200 IQ play, 300 IQ play, 400 IQ play. 
Zomboid, there's no IQ. There's no brains. Only zombies. Because if there's brains, then the zombies are going to eat your brains. You don't want that. The zombies we killed at the mall should take a week or two. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, damn it. There was a tweezers in here. Oh. Maybe vitamins will help. I want to see if a zombie comes in here. No clothes. Yeah, we'll talk about our serv our plans for server reset. Seems like a good idea. Is this a deep wound? Because that's going to need stitching. Oh, it is. Okay. Where are the zombies? Oh, there we go. Alright, let's see if we can burn them. What? A frickin' key? Oh, this is fine. Hopefully that bought me time. Oh, I, wait, I was, I was already bitten. Oh, it's already over. It's already over. What? They must have broke the window and immediately had bitten me. Damn it. Oh, well. I was hoping to stay in the car to see if I could... Uh, Get them to uh, burn up. That was alright. That was a good run. Okay, can opener could be useful. Plunger's actually a weapon. Believe it or not. All right. Ah, remove glass by hand.
Holy crap. Boys, we got clothes. Come on, zombie. Boys, we're in, we're in good shape. Yeah, this is CDDA. Holy crap, this is our best run. We actually have clothing. It's not great, but it's something. Oh. Never mind. Wrong button. I pressed W instead of A. My bad. Alright, that's going to be our good start. Go into the bathroom and then just wait for a zombie to come in. However, I don't know what the hell the plan's going to be after that. Yeah, that was my bad. Wrong button. Oops. Those those clothes those clothes were were horrible. Hopefully we find something else. Okay, rolling pin is a weapon. Actually, wait, equip that. Bathroom's blocked. Not a good start. Need to go into that bathroom. Come on. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, the scenario for this... So this is a challenge, so it's meant to be very, uh, very short. So basically, here's, here's what this one's all about. You get out of the shower and fall badly. You're blind drunk and have a nasty cold. On top of all this, the house is on fire. Today is definitely not your day. And you have, like, a shard of glass in your groin, which means that you probably, like, fell in the shower and broke the, the glass. Come on, Tucker, you can do it. Come on, Tucker, you can do it, brother. Dying will make us a better player, though. Knowing how to die in this game means that you know not to die again. Tucker Hat lives to die again, brother. Tucker hat, go brother. Actually, just loot all. Come on, baby. Yeah, pencil actually might be wor worth it. Maybe a comic book too. The bathroom's the best run though, because like when they crawl in through the door, the window, you can st stomp their head. However, the fire is completely random as to where it's going to be. Bad start here.
Nope, nope. The problem with uh, zombies on fire is they're hard, they're hard to fight without a weapon. They're just basically walking like flamethrowers. Oh wow, there's a generator. How do you pass this challenge? Well, once you've like cleared all the stuff on the right side, it, it just becomes like a regular single player game again, but I guess the goal would be to like find some good clothes, a weapon, cure your cold, and stitch yourself up, and then it's like GG. Some of them, I mean, all the endings are you die. Every one of the endings in this game is you died. So, I guess once these are all clear, it's up to you to go off and find a good place to die. Oh, hi. Wait, hello. Frickin' crowbar! Frickin' crowbar! Here they come, brother! Oh, it's over. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, we found an awesome little prepper cabin. There's no way I was getting out of that. Get him, he's got a weapon! Uh. Yeah, the crowbar wasn't going to save everything, but crowbar emote pog! Oh, that was, that was a good run. We should, I'm going to go that way again. That was like a little prepper house. Uh, yeah, even if I got that crowbar, it's like, that's good. That would have been good, but... The only place that'll save me time is, like, getting indoors so I can put on clothing. Alright, maybe we'll, maybe we'll go for stealth, but you're also coughing and sneezing, so it's like... New member, welcome. New member, Pog. Ah, Dan, thanks for the four months as a raptor hatchling. Oh, good start. I don't need that. Close curtains. Use tweezers. Rip sheet. Bandage wound. Open blinds. Attract zombie. Make sure we got everything. Zombies! Ah, <sighs> come on, baby. All this dying though is good. It like it'll it'll make you a much better player. It certainly sucks, but Looks like the garage already burned down. Here we go. Our first customer. Come on over, sir. Yep, come on over. I'm not wearing the Speedo, chat. We're gonna go commando.
Oh, a crawler. Oh, and that's GG. Damn it. Wow, the crawler was able to, like, get up, turn to me, and bite me before I was able to stand up. Damn. That's why I gotta stand to the side, otherwise the crawlers will knock you down. Tucker Hat lives again, brother! Being sick is the worst second only to zombification, yeah. Because you're, you're loud, and you gotta eat a lot of food, and... Um, the way to, to... To be quiet is to, um, get a tissue if you can, if you can get lucky to find one. Wow. Ooh, a car key. Well, we ain't going we ain't going anywhere with that. What the hell? How does that just burst into flame? No no no, don't use a bandage, damn it. God, thanks for the five. Oh, God. This place is just completely caked in fire. my internet speed again from 600 megabytes per second to 900 megabytes per second. Nice upgrade, bro. Well, let's go to that prepper house. No, thank you. No, thank you, ma'am. Nope. Nope. Oh, boy. All right, let's go to that prepper house. That was close. the hell? What the? What the? Stunt, 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 stunt. Go through the window! What's up with this stun lock? Alright, now the house is on fire. I don't know how the hell we made it out of that one. I don't want to know what the hell was that. I don't know what the hell that was. past you.
Oh, hi. Damn it. <laughs> Stupid zombie. You die now. Again. All right, we're bitten again. Ah, just take me, damn it. Yeah, go ahead. Joke's on them, they're on fire. Uh, all right, so it looks like that house to the east is a really good spot to go to. We're definitely going to do that. Tucker hat lives again, brother! Pew! How'd they catch fire? Dude, my house starts on fire, and then, like, everything around it starts on fire, and then the world's on fire. Some zombies just want to see the world burn. That's just the way it is. Oh, the bathroom being on fire is a horrible start. The bathroom usually has such good loot. Yeah, this is this is a horrible run. That's a horrible run. That's horrible. The chance of living was already like point zero 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 one percent. With the bathroom on fire, it's like negative thousand. Negative thousand. Yeah, you can press E to open a window and hold it to climb through, but when there's zombies around, you get freaking panicked. Maybe we'll just watch um, Nurse's run. Actually, I should watch her for some tips, but a little bit of it is luck, too, like what you find and stuff, so. Okay, wait. Equip, equip primary. Okay, I'll take the... No, give me the tomato soup. No, give me the tomato. Okay. What happened to the... Oh, the, the, oh, the bathroom's already on fire? Oh, my God. What? Oh my god. Maybe I can run. Wow. Ah, uh, we're closed. Thank you for shopping at Zombies R Us. Come on in, ma'am. Don't be a damn crawler. Don't be that. Damn crawlers. Right, I'm gonna mosey on over to the, uh... Over to the prepper's house. Wait, if we have... It seems like we're traveling faster. If you have... If you have shoes, do you walk faster? Toilet paper. Wait, how do you... Okay, wait, now I can muffle my coughs and stuff. Oh, so much for that. Muffle my coughs, they're right at the door. Oh my god, dude. All right, the toilet paper was a good find. I couldn't have escaped out that window because the shards would have gotten me. Damn it. That's what we need, boys. We need to be able to find toilet paper or something. You'd think bathrooms would, like, have toilet paper in every thingy. 
Avoiding uh, bloody feet is the main thing. Yeah, true. That's why we can't really leave the house without looting a zombie, so that way we can try to get some clothes. That's right, we're meant to die. Like, this is an incredibly hard scenario. We'll get back to Louisville in a bit, but you guys understand. Glass by hand. It's gonna suck, but whatever. Uh, the sneakers increase move speed and stealth a little bit. Oh, okay. I'll imagine that. Anything else I can get before we... Nope. Okay, let me open the window. Shall I be like Indra and get mad about people wanting for others to clip? Uh, no, but I think that she likes the channel a lot, as well as many of you, so she wants more people to like add clips and stuff. Everybody is welcome to click that little uh, scissor button, the little clip button, and if you um, share it on our Discord and stuff, that would be greatly appreciated, but yeah. Like, there's a lot of big fans, but then some, so, sometimes people get busy with jobs and stuff, and people are people are passionate about this community, man. Especially Pinto, that's why he's here all the time and totally not going to Japan sending pictures. Come on, zombie. Anybody? Zombie, hello? Hello? Where the hell are the zombies? All right, well, I'm gonna have a drink. How do you get rid of uh, drunkenness, by the way? Like, is it just time or like, does drinking water cure that or what? The best solution to not be hung over is not to drink. What is a clip? Uh, down below there's a uh, little, like a scissors icon and if you click that, It'll let you, like, make a little timestamp of some funny moments that happened, and then you can share it on our Discord. Like, it creates a... It, like, creates a mini YouTube video of anything funny that happens. I think maybe there's one or two clips. Coffee? Oh, does coffee... Does coffee work? Who's Pinto? I have no idea. I don't know if it's time or coffee. Water... <laughs> Okay, we got we got tangos in the AO. That guy's on fire, so screw that. Is anybody gonna come on zombies? Come eat me. I, I'm not going out there without shoes. We gotta be like nurse. Well, I think to make coffee in this game too, don't we have to like get a kettle and add it to Ooh, somebody died. Hi, ma'am. Oh, you're on fire, damn it. Give me that crop top, that's mine. Let me borrow that top. Ooh, tights? I'll take those too. No! Damn it, she burned up into flames after I took her crop top. Women's transparent. Wait, what the? Tights transparent? Just wear them! Dudes can wear tights too. I've seen Russian ballet. Pinto, no! Russian. There's a zombie in here. Oh no, just two. The problem with fire is that when the zombies die, it like takes their loot. Can I just get some shoes? Girl! I got shoes. Come on, wear these tights. Let's go! Woo! I'm out of here. Skirt! F 
Frickin' pants. Pants detected. No, you don't, sir. Vitamins, take those. How the hell did you... The house is just immediately on fire. And so is the front door, great. Yeah, there we go. Getting warmer. Didn't I have another... Oh yeah, the pan- oh god. see anything useful in there. Don't really have a good weapon, just a plunger. Plunger? Damn near kill- uh oh. Running seems like the best option, yeah. But I need somewhere to like hunker down. Trying to open the door, no. Hey Rick, how's it going man? Wrong house. Good, what about me? Well, I'm, I'm sad that me and a, a million other people got bit yesterday. And when we cleared out the mall, apparently all the zombies that we cleared there started to spawn in other areas. So basically everybody in the entire game almost died and or is dead. So that's sad. Now we need some water. You can fix that? Good. After a few more runs of this, I'll go back and, uh... I want to try something else. Alright. Just need to find, like, some toilet paper now or something. And some better medical equipment. Nope. Nope. Wow, there's so many zombies in this zombie game. Could use some more clothes. I really need to lose these nerds and... Yeah, we just gotta get out of here. Like, there's just way too many, dude. Yeah, we need to find toilet paper or tissue to, like, keep the, uh... Keep the coughing down, otherwise we're gonna attract some more friends. Constantly. This looks like a road. Maybe I'll go up this way. Ugh, brother. No, thank you, sir. That's got a knife in his leg. Oh, the mall has clothes? Oh, that's, that's easy to find. 
Come on down to the mall. Bum 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 bum. Just want to try to find a car. Check the uh, the glove box for tissues or something. Try to lose these guys. Oh my god, there's more! Ah, this is this is like you guys clicking or tapping join to become a member today. There's just so many of you. Wow. All these new members. Hey guys, yeah. Yeah, click or tap join. Yeah, you're all you're all welcome to become a member, yep. Oh, that's ridiculous. The game's just spawning more and more and more. You bought the game and you blame me for that? Hey, that's. I hope you bought it during the sale because that is the best ten dollars you ever spent. Not to mention playing with like Rick and all the other guys and everybody's made some really just awesome bases in the game. Everybody was really smart where they made their bases too, like gas station. A lot of people making their base uh, near fuel. Very smart. Those gas station houses are a really good spot to make a base. Yeah, that'll lose some of them. Any of them that you lose just, like, get spawned right out in front of you. I need to get out of this, like, trailer park. It just goes on forever. Oh, great. What? Oh, a taxi. Oh, oh, oh. over i thought it would spawn me a little further than the car damn all right we'll do one more run and then we'll go to louisville again i think what we really need to happen is like at the at the bathroom we need to have like there, there just has to be certain things that like need to happen in order to give us a chance like the bathroom can't spawn on fire we need to be able to find tweezers and then like just use a curtain or something like that to tie off the wound we need to find, like, a weapon, so there needs to be, like, a rolling pin or a frying pan or something. And then we just need to, like, lure a zombie and, like, one zombie into the bathroom just to get their clothes. And then, um, once we got all their clothes, then, like, head, um, head to a car or something like that or another house to see if we can find toilet paper. Yeah. Do I ever play the challenges? That's what this one is. Really CDDA. But there's other good ones, too, like uh, Bradford was playing the uh, Last Stand Accumulator and stuff. But this one really interests me, because this is just like, like, this is like mega ultra hard mode. For me, anyway. After this, I think we'll watch one of Nurse's videos and see how she did it, so long as it's not too long. We'll give her a shout out and stuff, too. She makes some incredible videos. Is, it, is this how the game starts? Um, this is a challenge, so it's like a custom scenario. But technically, this is how most games begin anyway, minus all the injury and stuff. Just plop down in the middle of a bunch of zombies. I want there to be more scenarios, though. Yeah, if the bathroom's on fire, it's a no-go. It's just not possible. Yeah, Nurse is great. She's joined us a few times. She is a... Uh, she is a lovely, lovely lady and very, very talented. I want to find some other people to give a shout out to, but I don't know, there's just something about her like funny. <laughs> she's um she's got dry humor where she doesn't she doesn't really make the jokes. Her videos when she tries to be comedic are are funny with sound effects and editing and stuff. She doesn't she she's not she's mostly serious in her videos, but the way they're edited, the way they're edited are better. 
Okay, we can't have the bathroom on fire. It's a no-go. All right, solo, CDDA. We can't have the bathroom on fire. Like, it's impossible. Bro. Every time? You knew, you knew a nurse once? Yeah. Are you a fan noting out on nurse? Noting out? I do I have to restart the whole game? Like, it feels like it's giving me a seed that's just like stun locking me to have a gar- like a garbage start on the bathroom. Come on, man. Give me a good- give me a good start. Well, we wait, well, we wait for the game to restart. Let's go watch one of Nurse's videos. Exclamation point Nurse in the chat for the link to her channel. I'll give her uh, an appropriate shout out because I need to see. I need to see her do. Oh man, it's like uh, seventeen minutes. All right, we won't watch the first thing, the full thing. Subscribe to her if you want to watch the full thing. I just want to see how she kind of gets started out. A lot of that, I think, has to do with luck, honestly. Like, things have to go down a certain way, otherwise you're just... It's not going to happen. Coming up next. Look at our... Her, uh, wait, 2021. Oh, that was last year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Coming up next, I try one of the hardest challenges in Project Zomboid. Yes, it is. Will I survive? Stay tuned to find out. Answer is no. What happens when you die? In Project Zomboid, you might come back as a zombie. In poor Renda Tubbs. All right, so look look at how like lucky she gets on some of these things. Hopefully Yolanda Tubbs can survive this. Fuck. All right, we've spawned and shit is already looking poor. Red knife, a uh, one can opener and a lighter. Okay, hopefully I don't burn to death. We're going to get out of here. What? She just leaves the house right Let me away? Get this glass out of my groin because that's incredibly uncomfortable. What? Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can enter back into Oh yeah. The, the bathroom to see if I can find anything, sleeping tablets. We're going to leave here because I don't want to catch on fire. And, uh, yes. So we're going to rip the sheets. Uh, yeah. I'm bleeding. Great. Uh, we're going to solve that. And there's flames. And How is she not swarmed by zombies? A lot of pain. Yes. We're going to wear your shoes immediately. And wear this. And wear this. Uh, now we're going to walk away calmly. Calmly How the hell did away from my burning house. Am I still bleeding? Oh, I'm scratched. All right, that's not great. Okay. Um. So she definitely goes east. All right, that's okay. That's got to be... What? I. Th okay. Well, it's definitely the bathroom, get clothes, go east. Like, those, those, are the, those are the important things. Okay. It's like, it's like luck. Well, not even luck. A lot of... Well, maybe not luck at the start, but maybe luck in the next house. How did she not have 46,000 zombies outside the house? No way. She also went pretty quickly, too. So maybe the zombies are attracted to the sound of fire. Like, maybe the fire actually makes noise. Damn it. A pineapple? What the hell? How the hell is the bathtub on fire? No, 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 open the open the window. Oh, 
Okay, now we got shoes. Now we can haul ass, boys. Yeah, the bath. That's my luck. The bathtub's on fire. Uh, this is gonna be my last run. Then we'll go back to Louisville. But I'm gonna have to study like uh, nur Nurse Academy. She needs like a, a university. Okay, somebody's in that house. Great. Is it just one? Nope. Sorry, wrong house. Okay, V-neck sweater. That's sweet. Unfortunately, I can't use the knitting needles for anything for healing. Wait, there could be a sewing kit. No? Oh, Jesus Christ! What the f- Ma'am? Oh my god. Oh my god. This was a nice sweater, damn it. Bob Ross, is that you? Is that Bob Ross? Bob, no. Yeah, if you stand on the zombies, they can't get up. That's true. All right, let's go to the prepper house. Let me take another pill. Oh, yeah. How is the gravel on fire? Yeah, I don't know how the bathtub caught on fire either. Holy crap. We have a chance. Unless, uh... Unless we get screwed on the, the laceration that we got earlier. Nope, we're dead. We are so dead. Well, at least we got clothing. Okay. Let's just walk through here. Door, 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 door. What the hell, dude? Damn it. F that. I was clicking the door like crazy. Come on, man. All right, let's go play the server. Damn it. That was the best run ever, dude. Damn it. Yeah, now I can dig my own grave. Whatever, chat. Whatever. Whatever, chat. Damn it. Damn it. That is an awesome scenario, though. I love it. Giving up? No, I'll come back to it later, but I do need to do Louisville. Otherwise, everyone will be like, where is Louisville? I was promised the entirety of the city. I assumed that it would be cleared by the time six seconds of this video elapsed. I do not see the elimination of every zomboid in this project, and you have failed me! Dislike.
Uh, okay. Rick. Hi. I got a boo boo zombie bit me a couple times. Um. Can you help everybody not die? Because it was kind of BS. And. Uh, let me pull up the. And can you make me more handsome? No, I'm just kidding. That's not possible. <laughs> it's already at uh, skill 100, like in Skyrim. Members, by the way, you guys are welcome to join us in our server. Rick, yesterday, dude, we had 16 people on. Apparently, Ooh. we had more people than the server could support. Like 16? That's what Chat was telling me. Oh, I noticed you brought uh, the purple van back, too. That's good. All nice there's a hard limit set to 15, so... Well, the server Possible. showed 16 out of 15, so I don't know if it just oh, meant weird. that some... Well, maybe as the admin, you could, like, override that or something? I don't know. <gasps> Yay! Tucker lives again, brother! All right, if anybody else wants that, just let us know. I'm only do I'm only cheating there in the court of, what do I call it? Emotional distress because of how BS... Oh, that's... <laughs> how BS that lag was. Oh, my God. Thank you, Rick. That was That was garbage. Bro, with the amount of shotguns and ammo we had, oh my god, did you see the bodies? The bodies, bro. <laughs> I swear, every 1,500 zombies must have been killed outside that mall. Now, the mall is definitely worth it to go to for like supplies and like clothes and food and stuff, but not, not, not that many zombies. Viewers sound evil. Most of you viewers are normal. Most of you guys, but some people are like. I mean, let's be honest, like, times are tough out there, everybody's stressed, and so they kind of, like, take out their, uh, you know, their emotions and stuff on every... Did you give me admin power? Uh, it's, like, all up in the upper left I? corner. Yeah, it's, like, still up there in the upper left corner. Wait, it says God mode off, invisible invisible on? Invisible on, um, damn it. Yeah, I'm... that's, for some reason, that's standard when you are an admin. It locks me in invisible every time. Oh, every time you join the server, like, we can't see you unless you... I have to manually turn it off every time. That's and weird. I have no clue how to turn it off. It's a Tucker um... miracle. You know what? He just gave me a bottle of Robitussin chat. That's all Rick did. I just... Oh, zombie bite. Get that... Let that Tussin get in there. Mm. That... Dude, dude, chat, you know... I wonder... Okay, when I was growing up, we didn't have Robitussin. We had, like... We had three things for, like, childhood, uh, childhood health care in the house. We had Pepto-Bismol. We had, like, on, a, on occasion, we would take, like, an aspirin or, like, a Tylenol. Like, occasionally. Very rarely. Very rarely. The other thing, you guys remember Dimatap? <laughs> we had Dimataps as a kid. Now, from... To this day, because of the powerful, like, sugary cherry flavor of Dimatap, anytime I get something with, like, grenadine in it, it just, like, gives me, like, flashbacks. Oh, yeah, Vix, too. Yeah, you're right. Vix, Vix, Vix Vapor Rub, which was less rare. But I can remember Dimatap for, like, sore throats and colds and stuff like that. And the worst is like a sore throat because breathing hurts, eating hurts, talking, everything. Everything hurts. Oh, yeah, hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. Hey, Mom, I uh, dismembered my uh, right arm. Oh, okay. Just put some just put some hydrogen peroxide on this. Oh, that weird bubbly stuff that hydrogen peroxide would do? I'd love that, though. That, that meant death to bacteria. Death. You could actually see it die. It was awesome. Fun fact, grenadine is actually pomegranate flavored. Oh, really? I don't know. Whatever Dimatap was, though, it ruined, like, it ruined a certain flavor for me. Because the other day, I don't know, something was, like, something was Dimatap flavored, and I just had, like, a flashback thousand-yard stare. All right, anyway, let's begin with the Louisville thing. Later, boys, we'll do some more CDDA, because that was a hell of a lot of fun. I, dying in that is so fun, because it's a damn dice roll. Anyway, Rick, um, welcome, bro. Yep. Yesterday was fun. I'm glad you helped to clear out the front door. The uh, inside of the mall was absolute hell. <laughs> oh, that was so hell. Yeah. Yeah, it was Black uh, Friday. Hell. All the way. It was. It was hell. Hell. Pandemonium. Hell. Anyway, let's get ready for Louisville. So I guess uh, where's your um, Land Rover, by the way? Is it at the mall? 
Uh, it's still uh, out there, yeah. Okay. Dude, it was so foggy when I drove back from the mall in this car that I found. Oh my god, dude. The fog in this game is ridiculous. I've actually, um... I did, uh, it's not true really legitimate, but I logged into a second character to claim a safe house in uh, Louisville. <laughs> what? Why is this person dead? John Bronson died in the front yard. Okay. Huh. Can you still copy stuff through simultaneous picking it up? Um, I never even knew you could do that. I assume it might be patched if it's an exploit. Uh, oh my god, look at all these bodies. Ugh. Alright, Rick, when you get back here, we'll start figuring stuff out. In the meantime, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna have to have another body pile. Yeah. Bro, we need, like, a, uh... We need to go get a trailer so we can just take care of these bodies. It's so tedious to pick them up. There's Sending more... you invitations for a safe house. Hmm? I'm trying to inv invite you to a safe house. Uh... Aren't you... If we're in the same faction, isn't it automatic? No. Uh, Is Louisville a mod? No. I logged into a second character to be able to claim a safe house. Oh. Because otherwise zombies are going to keep spawning in a safe house. Yeah, but we can't... Um, you can't be a part of more than one safe house, can you? Uh, you can be a part of... You can uh, allow more players in a safe house. You can't own more than one safe house, though. Oh, so... Like, if you were playing with three friends, four people could each have a safe house and invite each other to it? Yep. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Where's that corpse? There it is. Uh... Mercuchrome was in the cabinet, too. Uh, I just... I'm just recalling stuff from my uh, Midwestern upbringing of Robitussin. Uh, sorry, Dimatap, Pepto Bismol, Tylenol, and Vicks Vapor Rub. Those were the days. Uh, anybody that I stream with is on the channels tab of my channel. And there should be commands for every one of those channels, too. Except for Nurse. I haven't added her to my channels list, but... Oh, you want me to pour hydrogen peroxide on the corpse pile? Hmm. Smart idea. Oh, my two-week-old character died last night. I failed to pause the game when I fell asleep, starving in the safe house full of food. Oh, no. Hey, if you die in this game, are you always zombified? I don't think so, right? Like, if you die to, like, fire? Depends on how you die. Yeah. Die in this game, you die in real life. Yeah. What is that? Oh, tin can. Ugh, so much cleanup to do. Well, anyway, we're getting ready now to go to Louisville, so we're everybody in our server, which was like up to 15 people, we're going to start bringing weapons and ammo up to the uh, military checkpoint, and then we're going to start uh, finding out where to put a safe house in the city and then make our way deeper and deeper into Louisville. That'll be the last challenge. Can you keep playing as a Zomboid? That'd be kind of boring, don't you think? All you do is stand around and... I mean, that would be their motivation, is, like, you can't die, society's already crumbled, so it's not like you're going to get a job down at the zombie factory. You don't have to pay taxes. You don't have to eat either, unless it's human flesh, so, yeah, I don't know. Imagine how life, how boring life would be if you didn't have to eat. <laughs> oh, rip. That, that yeah, that'd be half my life right there. I'd be like, wow, why even go? Why even go anywhere then? Okay, so the, the safe house option is not gonna work because when I try to log in on my my character, it kicks my other character. Mm. Oh, there's mods to let you play. Oh yeah, I, 
Dude, there's a mod for everything in this game. Anytime I say you can't do something, it's just I'm just referring to vanilla. There's just, there's probably a mod for everything in this game. I'm sure there's a mod that turns it into like a Sims game. Except, bro, imagine in The Sims, like instead of just like going to a buy menu and just having a chair pop up in your house, if you actually had to get into your car and like, or maybe you had to call a friend to borrow a truck to then go buy a dining room table, <laughs> and then you bought them pizza that night and a beer for helping. Like, one, letting you borrow their truck, and then two, for, like, moving it or whatever. Because you didn't want to pay for the delivery van, but still you wanted to buy a pizza. <sighs> okay, that looks pretty clean. Wow, those are the graves I dug over there. Each one of those full... Each one of those graves that's uh, filled in is five zombies each, so... To continuously clear out zombies over and over and over again is just so tedious. At your base. It's fun to do away from your base, but... So, oh wait, so where, where were you making a safe house, Rick? Um... Belt, uh... Louisville. What? I was hoping to make one in Louisville, like... Uh, claim it and then uh, start cleaning stuff out around it, but uh, that won't work. Is it necessary to clean out the zombies? Well, if you're going to make a safe house, yeah. It is necessary to pick up their bodies, because if you leave too many bodies around, it will make you sick. And that's not good. So just like in real life, corpses laying around spreads disease, so... You kind of want to either make a zombie incinerator... Oh, that's a sweet metal band name. Sweet, sweet zombie name. Need a skid loader? I I'd love for this game to just like... Imagine this game where it's like it's like um, an actual light... M get rid of the zombies, and then just imagine it being like a life simulator. Where you could get a job... It's just 5M. It's just 5M. You get a job. Like top down. Yeah. yeah. You get a job, become a criminal, work down at a, I don't know, a pork rendering plant. Or become a well, like a mechanic. People bring in their cars, you repair them. Actual money in the game. Love our base, though. We did such a good job of, like, it. it we're learning how all this works with like you and Jerry and stuff of like the farming and the, like the water filtration system, and that you can actually use a washer and dryer to clean your clothing. Oh yeah. Like, I didn't know a I lot really of that like stuff. That. I didn't even know. Did you know, Project Zomboid, you can get a washer and dryer? I want to make a, I want to make a nurse type video like that, like kind of a parody, but in her style. I hope everybody knows. I'd just be like, it'd be like a, a, a tip of the cap to those types of like thirty second little tutorial videos. All right, looks like everything's clean, at least corpse wise. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, hold on. Bum. That's work. Nice. Oh, it's interesting. I can't actually, like, myself. Oh, I guess I don't need to add myself. Yeah. Um. Because I'm an admin and I claim it on my other character, I can still use it as a safe house and invite people. So it does work. All right, we're gonna have to make a safe house then. Or I mean, you know, like make it safer. Yeah. So you need. Well, we better uh, make a we checklist. Need to bring metal for like metal barred windows. Okay, we need metal. We probably need a generator, gas. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really stream on Twitch. My I changed my URL, but I don't even stream there, so you guys aren't missing anything. 
When I get frustrated, I'll go and uh, I'll go stream over there sometime. Could be fun to go over there to do like a special event, but I, I don't know what I would do. Yeah, we have so many boxes and stuff. Such a cool... Cool amount of organization we did. Yeah, I mostly stream here. I have a Twitch and I've streamed there before, but it's probably been like five years since I've done it, so... Bum, bum, bum. But yeah, sometimes people stream in multiple places. I could start streaming simultaneously, but... Then it'd be, I don't know, some viewers might get confused as to why you keep saying bits. Why, who who followed? Who became a sub? Why are people paying for subs? I don't get it. What? Burner. All right, um, now that's set up, let me up. <laughs> this reminds you of Maniac Mansion. This reminds me of uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, but like The Sims. Except for this looks way better than The Sims ever did. Like, let's see. I think that game came out in 1999. Oh no, this is just the CDDA scenario. Yeah, this is basically just CDDA right here. Yep. Yeah, I see no differences. Oh, let's go play CDDA. There's no difference. By the way, I did recently read something about the lag while driving cars. Oh yeah? Uh, something about rendering and a lack of 3D objects, so you might have to like set your G block speed to a minimum or something like that. I haven't uh, done it myself yet. Standing around I and looking around, it. it's smooth. Yeah, I want to do that too. Like, I don't want any more lag because it's like it, I don't even think it's server side, but it. I mean, sometimes yeah, it could be, but it should be client side. The driving, at least. Okay, I want to make that better because, man, how many times have you and I just plowed into something where we were just? Well, hell, I died one time just plowing into the back of Jerry's car, and I don't even know why. I don't know if that was server. It must have been server side. I don't know. Project Zomboid runs off the Sims 2 engine. Does it really? Wouldn't that be a property of Electronic Arts, though? Because I don't even know if... Uh, I don't know if there was any other games that used that engine. So I could only... I could imagine that they custom-made that engine just for the Sims, and that's it. Oh, those windows look broken. This place looks hillbilly now. Yeah, dude, we have so many cars out in front. Multiple cars on blocks. It's Rick's natural habitat, really. <laughs> All these vehicles around at the shop. I mean, this is a one-to-one -one recreation of where he works. Uh. Yeah. Well, I'm on my way back to the base so we can load up with uh, items and head over there. Yay. We had a lot of supplies and stuff. Cool. Uh, the settings have players injured by their car crashes. Yeah. But our car crashes are caused by like a weird thing. I, I don't know if you... Wait, lock frame rate. 
UI rendering. Mm. Yeah, I'll have to fiddle with it later. I uh, gotta install MSI Afterburner apparently. So you're in Louisville now? Uh, no, <laughs> I'm heading back to base. But uh, I just like went there to claim a safe house. Okay, so it'll be a little while when there you're you here. Go. Turn down blood decals to save on FPS. Blood decals. Uh, okay. Mm. Okay, then. Okay then. All right. While I wait for you, I'm gonna go do a CDDA because that's gonna be fun. When you get here, then okay. we'll we'll start figuring out our plan. Yeah. To load up a truck, uh, load up a couple trucks, and figure out where we're gonna go. Do we have another van? Um, don't think so. We have the purple van, and we have your truck. I guess that's really all we need. Your truck can hold yeah. about as much as the van with the roof rack and stuff, right? Yeah. That's why I love it so much. Uh, blood decals are causing particle issues. Known issue at the moment. Oh, okay. Blood decals. Okay. Uh, make the zombie clothes texture low. Remove shadow. Okay. Well, that's some good tips. Zombie clothes texture low. Okay, make the zombies close low, remove shadows. Where is that? Maybe lighting quality? I just want good frame rate so I can fight, you know? Do I need to... Oh, the bathroom's uh, on fire again. We need to add to the main menu to change those things. No, I just did it from the display menu. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, corpse shadows. But they go. Oh, great, it's raining and foggy. Oh, come on. Will the sheet in your hand muffle the noise? No, you need toilet paper or a tissue. But you're right, like if you have a ripped rag, that should that should work. First try, yeah. While we're waiting for like other people, we can just go like continue to do these little side runs for fun, so when there's not any like waiting around. Beer bottle.
Wow, that's that's ridiculous. A fire just randomly Oh come on, man. Fire just randomly comes through the bathroom door and then it's just like immediate on fire. That was ridiculous, man. Yeah, this does make it a little better. Does it is it a little better? Yeah. Okay. I'll try the zombie close the uh, settings down. Wow. Tweezers and a bandage. That's good. And the cabinet's on fire. Like how, dude? Probably in the guys that I've been there before. Also, I've actually done some experimentation and with like the highest reload aim, set, aim settings, um, not settings, skill. M16 still jams a lot. Yeah, the M16 sucks. Yeah. It's a good weapon, so, but it also sucks. Yeah. Something I'll probably, uh, I will probably be able to change with uh, when we add mods in. Probably like turn down. Uh, Bandage of jams, high skills, stuff like that. Yes, if you have like a, a rifle at 100% condition that jams five times a clip, it, yeah, seems a bit too much. I agree. When zombies start on fire, it takes about three minutes or so to kill them. They have to burn for quite some time for the fire to actually be effective. Nope, it's over. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this house has some really good stuff in it. Maybe I can keep these zombies in a... Uh, maybe I can get them to burn. Oh, there's too many. There's way too many. The goal would be to get these guys dead and then go in that building. There's actually like a military... Um, I think there's a bulletproof vest in there.
Now they're just going to climb in through that window. I need pants. Uh, the building on fire might be okay. Hey, I bet you crushed my PC. They're starting to die. It begins. Oh, I'm on fire too, damn it. That guy's got some good clothes up there. Couple more to go, boys. I want a little peace and quiet for a minute.
Oh boy, this is it. Health went back up a little bit too, barely, but... What? Oh. It's hard to know where to stand. It's hard to know where to stand with the fire. Oh, this YouTuber sucks. Mom, where's my hot pocket? True. Wait, what the hell? Where's some bald guy now? Tucker Hat lives again, brother. That's Tucker right there. What was in here? Military bulletproof vest. That'll keep me warm, brother. Oh yeah, we're jacked up Dr. Phil now. Ranch. Oh my god, that crawler stun lock. All right, are you back at the base? Yep, I am. Okay. We'll go back to uh, Louisville now. Just gathering uh, the metal and things we have. Boys, that was a good run with the fire. The problem is, like, I don't know where to stand sometimes to, like, deal with the fire. But that's supposed to be an ultra hard uh, scenario. That's how it goes, brothers. All right, what's our goal then? We are loading up the. Oh wait, did you bring the truck back? Yeah. Oh, cool. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. Yep, that's an F on that one, boys. But that scenario is fun, dude. Like, it's get I'm getting better and better at it. That last run was fantastic. I think that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get a good bathroom spawn, go to that little area between the houses where like the little survival shed kind of thingy is, and then um, wait for the zombies to burn themselves out, and then uh, hopefully no others come around. Try to grab some good clothes and stuff. Once once we like lose the zombies. The thing after that is like, okay, then we got to work on curing our cold, which means I think you just need to eat some warm food a bunch of times. And, um, it takes a little bit of time, you know, stay hydrated and full on food. And then, uh, we also need like a decent weapon, which, I mean, hell, even a rolling pin is somewhat decent. Another raid without you? Well, we're preparing. We're preparing now to go to Louisville. I'll be back and forth between, like, challenge scenarios and stuff whenever there's downtime to keep it fun. Because CDDA is really fun to do. Just, like, it's painful, and I love it. It's great. All right. So, the goal, then, is to bring all of our stuff from the oh, Ford Farm huh? to the checkpoint. There we go. Boy, the yeah, smartest, just, uh, the smartest thing. Any metal you can find. People, people bringing out the uh, the coolers. That was smart yesterday. Oh yeah, I didn't realize how long. Yeah, I probably need that. to bring a cooler or something. Yeah, we'll bring a couple of those. All right. So, what do you want? Metal scraps? Metal? Yeah. Uh, any propane torches? Um, 
uh, any metal, like metal scrap, metal pipe, metal bar, metal sheet. Okay. By the way, I realized uh, this Toyota has even more storage than a truck because it's a four-seater. Oh, right. But I never... It, it's its annoying to use the seat, so I almost never use that. So we want scrap metal? Is that what you want? Yeah, scrap metal, yeah. Uh, metal bars, metal sheets, metal pipes. Understood, brother. Scalpel. I guess we'll bring sheets so we can cover the windows. Amen, brother. Oh, is this your M16 in the truck? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just dumped all my, my stuff in the truck. Okay. By the way, Chad, I want to congratulate you, each and every one of you. You made it to Friday! <laughs> Happy Friday, Chad. I hope you all uh, enjoy your weekend. Is Jerry home? Um, Jerry's welcome to be around. I don't know if he's been feeling Project Zomboid or not. I, I always want to let people know that the door is open, but like they're not obligated to be around. Yesterday, I did my stream in the PM to like accommodate for if he wanted to come along, but it's not like he was required to be here. Uh, I want to make that clear, by the way, that like he didn't, you know, he's not he's not required to be here, but he can if he wants to. Except for Tan. Tan's required to be here. Where, where else are you going to go, Tan? Another stream? You have nowhere else to go? Tan leaving this channel for another channel would be like Tan going to Domino's in the middle of Rome. Why would you, why would you do that? <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's mandatory fun. That's right. Obligated... Fun. Nah, I'm kidding. You guys do what you want, but I'm happy you spend uh, a lot of time here. So thanks for your support. Alright, I love the generator in the back of the van. And I just found a bunch of... Do you, do you need wires or anything? That's Is that used for building at all? Or is uh, it all yeah, electrical wire? Too. Uh, no, wires is used for stuff like fencing. Oh, you can actually use wiring for fence? Oh, is that how you make the chain yep. link? Yeah, the big wire fence. Oh, okay. You need, like, scrap wire and metal poles. Scrap wire? Is it uh, metal scrap, yeah, too. Oh, scrap, comma, wire, okay. Is the back of the car full? Probably. Uh, nearly. <laughs> Uh, you can still, you can still load stuff into the oh seats. Oh my god! Oh right. Is there a way to? You can't load stuff into the car seat without being in the car, right? I don't think there's a way Definitely to. Definitely like, not. Okay. No. That's fine. I'll just dump stuff in the back. We'll seat three and four in the back. Okay. There we go. The f the back of the van is full. Oh, sorry. All right, I'm loading most of the stuff I found into the. Yeah, I'm gonna load some stuff in the defense uh, seat too. If a raptor gets to million, two million subs, he'll grow his hair dye orange and have two ponytails like Wendy's logo. God, no. Okay. All right. If we get to two million subs today, I will. I will stop the stream and go buy hair. Actually, I haven't. I. Well, one, I'd have to grow my hair out, and then two, I'd have to like dye it. Which I don't even know how to do. I have no idea I didn't do hair dye. Oh, this just seems like such a mess. Ugh. And then for like the... Oh no, chat, if I dyed my hair red, the shower would become like the inside of a plastic Tupperware when you put spaghetti in it. It would just be this weird <coughs> tainted orange for forever. I would have to burn that. It would have to become my own personal CDDA. I'd have to burn the house down and leap through the window. It'd be the only way I could escape the shame. It's the only way that's going to work. You have Morgan, she can give you a tutorial? Oh yeah, Morgan's like a hairstyle. Oh god, no. 
No, I no. No, the amount of mess it would create? No. All right, the fan is completely full. All right, the, the truck has a little bit more space. I'm going to see if there's more. Oh. Actually, I had more stuff on me. Running rods. Oh, Morgan does makeup? Oh, never mind then. I'm already beautiful, so I won't need any of that. Morgan doesn't like me. I put her out of business. <laughs> Again, to everybody who became a member, uh, feel free to join the server. Everybody watching, you guys can smack that join button and jump on with us for fun. This month will probably be uh, later. We'll maybe do a restart on a new map or figure out mods. We'll, we'll talk. If you guys have some suggestions, start um, talking about it in the Discord and we'll kind of figure out what we're going to do. All right. That Toyota's full. Oh, is it? Wow. Did we bring a generator? Fuel? Yeah, in the back of the van. I got uh, four fuel cans. Hmm. So we're not going to go to the checkpoint. We're going to go to a house that you secured. Yeah, we're going to go past the checkpoint. Still feel like we're going to we're going to have to come back and bring more stuff. Uh, no, the price of this game went up after the Steam sale. So now it's, uh, let me check. Project Zomboid now is... Uh, 20 bucks. 20 bucks now for the game. Still worth it. I think you can actually, you can actually buy, like, a four-pack of the game and give it to friends. Let's see. Yeah, buy a Project Zomboid four-pack for fifty nine ninety nine. So for 60 bucks, you can buy four copies of the game and give it to a couple friends to play with. Uh, sorry. Back. Did I update my clothes with leather strips? <coughs> no. A dog barking at my window. <laughs> oh, that's right. All right, I'm ready to go. Okay. Oh, what's this? Many cars here. Wait, you disappeared for me. Where'd you go? Dead? You're gone. Along the roads. Uh, wow. You just like disappeared. The leg actually feels... Oh, damn, driving is a little bit better. I can zoom out a little further. Anyway, I'll, I'll see you at the checkpoint since we know where that is. Okay. I guess we could stop there before we go in and check for anything else. Although, we don't yeah. have the room. Uh, yeah, that's true. Oh, we'll be rather close to the checkpoint so we can always come back after we're settled down. I'm going to drive slow, so... Uh, I'm going to try to avoid some zombies. Oh, my bad. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Get out of it. Wait, it, go. Ooh, it, would, it wouldn't go out of cruise control. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Cruising into a tree. I did, yeah. Because it wouldn't go out of cruise control. I wanted to coast, brother. Amen, brother. There we go. That's what I wanted. All right, let's go. That's about as far as I can zoom out right there without 
Lag City. Becoming the mayor of Lag City. tree jumped out of nowhere brothers amen amen that tree suddenly crossed the road officer i swear oh that zombie jumped out in front of me chat oh Yeah, the month is on display in the upper right corner. Date and time, temperature. Day, month, year. Actually, not year, but... Now it's 1994. <gasps> that means Tupac could still be alive. We have to rescue him. I'm coming, Pac. And Biggie, too. It was all a dream. They live in Kentucky. No. East East Coast, West Coast. Uh. Brother man, amen. And sometimes you try to avoid zombies and it's like you gotta hit them instead. Yeah. I'm just gonna drive slow, boys. I know I'm being a grandma All right, right now. Alright, checkpoints. Well, I'm gonna be a while. Probably need to break through some barricades at the checkpoint, so... That's in the meanwhile. Raptor dropping more hints that he's a Bone Thugs fan? Bone? Bone, 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 bone. All right, Rick, I'll meet you at the crossroads. All right. Uh, what's the best server to go on for newbie? Oh, for newbies, you mean? I mean, you can go on our server. Everybody here is noobs. Even after, like, a thousand hours, I feel you still some to learn in Project Zomboid. Wait, Bone Thugs was in that one song. Um, it was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and Pepper. Heavy, I think it's Heavy E up in the limousine. What's that other song? Uh, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. When I was dead broke, man, I couldn't picture this. 50-inch green money, green leather sofa. Got two rides, a limousine with the chauffeur. Oh, Heavy, heavy D. I couldn't remember if it's Heavy E or Heavy... It was before my time. In 93, I was into, like, Ninja Turtles and, like morning cartoons and cereal. I had no idea who the hell Biggie Smalls was at the time. Although I remember when he got shot and the radio... Uh, God, when they kept playing that song for a billion years, that one... Uh... Alright, I'm actually already in uh, Louisville, apparently. Nice. Um, yeah, if you just go to the checkpoint and keep driving, you'll, you'll I'll wait here by the side. Amen, brother.
There we go. Actually, wait a minute. What was that one song Biggie sung when um, Tupac got shot? A song to his his fellow rapper. Oh, Puff Daddy sang the one when Biggie died, and Biggie sang a song called Who Shot You when Tupac died. Wow. You see, kids, there was this time called the 90s, and there was these people who would, uh, they were called rappers, and they would actually uh, enunciate their words, not like the um, modern rap you're used to now with the... Spotify, how am I? And songs actually used to be sung where they Funny. they would have a name, and the name of the song wouldn't have an F-E-A-T dot and then somebody else's name. They would have, they were they were called original songs, although they would still use sampling and stuff from other music. Yeah, ra Raptor Feet Feet Rick. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, zombies, you scary. Can we get a one in the chat for Tupac and Biggie Smalls, y'all? Thanks. Appreciate it, chat. <laughs> Press one to pour out one for a dead homie. Pour a one out for a dead homie. Damn it. Did you stop at the military base, Rick, or did you keep going? Uh, keep going. Just go straight and uh, I'll be by the side of the road. Yeah, now songs also have to have made up words. Like, sk sk sklerp. Sklerp featuring blue, 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 blop. And then you just, you can like mumble a grocery list. X milk bread, bread ilk mag, 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 milk, milk bread, X. Oh my god, such talent. I'm crying and shaking. Yeah, little, little, little raptor X, yeah. No doom music today? All right. I'm up to nearly 4k kills. Oh, 
hold on. Well, not, no, not that one. That's copyright as hell. All right, there you go, champ. Hell yeah, brother. There was actually like a, a map to Louisville you could find in the game. True. Oh yeah, how come they haven't put that in? Yeah, I don't know. Seems a bit weird to like not have a map to the biggest city in your game. I think we gotta go left at the big intersection. Okay. Hold on. If we go, uh, don't go left, but go like a bit left and then upwards, like off road, we can get to the um, urban area. Oh, never mind. And uh, it's all fence stuff. We need to go straight. Okay. Right, and then take the first left after the intersection. Wait, are you getting off the highway or on? Uh, uh just go ahead. Um, yeah, you could go off roads, just like head into this urban area, like where I am. Zombies around the house. We got the frames. The frames. coming from? How does that tree? Those zombie bastards are gonna pay for messing up my ride. Good clips, what the hell? Where'd 
Where's my good mags, damn it? Must have left the rest in the purple car. Oh, great. Well, this will be fun. Oh, boy. Which house did I... Uh, must be one next door. Well, this will be fun. Let's go. Here we go. P.O.S. That dodge, though. Bro, reload the magazine. Oh my god, they're all empty. Behind, 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 behind. Right, uh, run away from the hat. Out for a bit. Holy crap. I'm gonna bleed out, 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 gonna bleed out. damn it! Oh my god. What a cluster. Yeah, we had 35 empty clips with none of them loaded. Ugh. How did you have all that, uh, did you, did you load up all your clips beforehand? Your magazines? Yeah. Oh, all the ones I grabbed out of the car were empty. You had like... You had like 33 empty uh, magazines in the van. I should have just stayed with a crowbar. I hate that M16 so much. You, you just no, can't tell. Be better soon. You can't even tell whether or not it's broken, or or whether or not it's jammed. It's a pain in the ass. I bled out from a zombie laceration. I had bulletproof vests and stuff on too. Damn zombies. We are somewhere. Time for Tucker's rebirth, I agree. Stop jamming. Yeah, that 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 gun's annoying. Oh my god, it jammed again. The shotgun's better except for it can only hold six rounds. Well, next time we go to make a uh, safe house, Rick, it's probably a good idea to bring a crowbar, oh, you know, melee weapons and do it silently till we're fortified. Oh, yeah. And then once we're fortified, then we have to make sure we've got all the... Because we, we showed up there. I grabbed a bunch of magazines out of that car and none of them were loaded. So we got like 33 magazines in the back of the car that do not have ammo. It's probably all from all the fun we had in the uh, in the mall, but... Yeah. All those all those boxes, bruh. How about a tank? We can do that for a mod. All that bleeding. Yeah, no, the the guns are almost um mm, 
The guns are good if you're maybe in a quieter area, but stealth is still supreme. Wait, did I wait, did I even choose the right city? Oh, I didn't set my spawn to the base because when we were changing some of the safe house stuff, it, it reset. And since we were making a new base, we were going to change it anyway. Oh, yeah, here we are. Okay, we're good. Alright, I think I finally got most of the zombies cleared out. Stop jamming. Yeah, the M14 is good, but it's, um... It's it feels a little underpowered. The M16 is good. <laughs> M16 jams like every other shot. So I like the biggest problem with it is that you're not sure if it's jammed or if you're out of ammo. And then we had the big problem of none of the none of the magazines being loaded. At least all of our stuffs at the new base. So that's what matters most. Now, the good news is my zombie self still has all my stuff on us, so it's not a big deal. I think uh, the house next to the one I thought we should take actually. Oh no, wait, this one also has a pig. That doesn't matter. It's like the big fences the zombies can't climb over. Ooh. Let's see if I can bring the. Uh... POS, wait, maybe I should just grab a water. Chad, I should have used my trusty crowbar. That thing is... cool thing about the crowbar is when I use that, I can actually, like, hit two zombies at a time. It's good stuff. Where did it keep coming from? Did you bring a welder? Yep. Uh... Bum, 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 bum. Uh, hmm. I guess all of our water's in here. Can we put it all in this one? Grab some food for the road. And water. Butter. We have butter. Maybe we should play with sprinting zombies on next time. <laughs> Actually, if we played we with... We could turn it on. If we did sprinter zombies, but then turn down the number of zombies, that, that would probably help the lag, but also keep the challenge about the same. It seems like a good balance. Maybe, yeah. Alright, let's go. What's in Jerry's bags? I'm not sure. It's not mine, so I don't wanna I don't wanna touch it. Oh thanks chat for packing a water. Don't forget to bring a water, chat. Alright, let's get out of here. Barricade all the broken windows with metal sheets and all the intact windows with metal bars. Well, that sounds fun.
Well, that's true too, chat. But when we when we start doing mods to upgrade, uh, up increase the uh, difficulty and stuff, at least everyone here should have like a month and a half of like prior knowledge, hopefully. Oh my god, officer, are you okay? Oh my god, this thing's completely destroyed. Actually, I'm gonna get this thing off the road. Tucker hat drives again, brother. All right, let's get to Louisville, boys. We'll get back there. We'll grab our stuff and we'll we'll continue to Tucker hat. Although I don't know if I brought a crowbar. We're gonna have to find a crowbar. Squish. Wait a minute. Oh my god, are you trapped? zombies. done too. Band-aid. Wait, did I eat that food? Nope. Man, I can't believe how quickly that other laceration almost killed me that one time. Holy crap. Okay. Oh, I ate the pepper. Ooh. That's an appetizer. Oh, 
Ma'am. So easy to die at the beginning. Your skills are so bad. Back to get the van, then. Get to the van! Man, Chad, a lot of you just don't even watch the stream and then come back and ask everybody for a sit rep. He's all you gotta do is watch. You'll be able to figure out what's happening and what happened and what we're doing. It's all good, brothers. Amen. Oh. We're what? gonna have to find your body somewhere. Got the, the keys of the fan. Oh, did I? Oh, that's why I got. Yeah, I got a hot wire, brother. Oh, uh, the situation yeah, the report I was making handier. in quesadilla. Chat. Oh well. Operation. Uh, where's Tucker Hat? Is a go. Wow, it looks like a little bird's nest over there. Oh my god. Oh, no, you don't. Uh, I need to get a band-aid. Wait, where's the base? Dealing with zombies in melee is so much better. I don't need that. Wait. Yeah, sometimes it's really it. I don't need that anymore. Um. Uh oh. Too many zombies. What's up, Lillian? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoying. Too many. Right, I'm going back to base. I gotta get some band-aids and some other stuff. Get the hell out of here. Oh boy. Yeah, the fire department about time. Oh, 
Okay, uh, let's see. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, we so needed a beta blocker that one time at the, uh... Bandages? Ah, amen. That's what we need, chat. The crowbar. The crowbar. Good stuff in there. we found Rick Grimes yet? No. Not yet. Oh, it's a zombie. Bush, uh, bushes zombie. I just built that fence and there's already a zombie banging against it. Ow. since the mall things have been fun oops I think I forgot yep yeah. oh well Do we have the server setting posted anywhere? Um, members have access to the server, so you'll just have to smack join and jump on the uh, on the Discord in the members section. How do I get a? I want a. Um, wait. Now we're good. What did that guy say? Oh, sure. Wait, how do I... Um... There we go. Throw that in there. Oh, boy. Exclamation point, join us. Yeah, if you want to become a member. You should become a member. All right, Rick. Well, the hope. Hopefully, next time uh, when we bring guns and ammo, we have it loaded in the magazines. Hopefully, that'll <laughs> that'll help. Yeah, well, it's generally anything to do. Well, I nearly got the entire fence up around the house. Well, I don't know how you got a magazine. Uh, wait, uh, where did? I don't know who's who. Oh. I don't know how you got all the. Uh, you must have been carrying stuff on you. We had, 30, yeah, was, we had 33 empty magazines. Full magazines. Yeah, we had 33 empty ones, and when we were at the mall, I only had like seven, so... Uh, wow. I don't know where the extra came from. Always a good idea to keep them loaded, I guess. 
I guess. Yeah, whenever I have time, I like always uh, start reloading my magazines. I'm just sad now. This is how it always goes. Play side. The Soviet Fox, thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg. Yeah! Thank you very much. Amen, brother, brother. Amen, brother, brother. Amen, brother, brother, brother. Amen. Everybody's so nice and helpful in our server. Always so helpful. Everybody's like, hey, you having a little problem with zombies, but yeah, yeah, okay, I'll come over. At least this time it wasn't lag. It was our own incompetence. My own incompetence. Well, I guess I should read some puns for all the new members that we've got. So let me uh, get out a good. Let me get out some stuff about puns. something to buy some hot pockets to make you la happy Yay. thanks for the streams hot brother. pockets if the air moves fast is it the windy 500 Over 1,500 people died on the Titanic. Let that sink in. There's over 500 types of pasta. The possibilities are endless. I bought a lifetime supply of pickles for $500. What a deal. Where we go? Uh, straight ahead. Straight ahead. Go across the intersection and then just off-road left. Yeah, go go across the highway and then left. I think it's this house or this one. 
I thought you said you had a safe house, Rick. I thought the house would be safe. I, I claimed it. I haven't, like, done anything to it yet. <laughs> oh, you know shooting Although brings more zombies. it's more safe now. I can't find your body, though. Everybody, clap your hands. Well, it'll be hard at night time. We'll just uh, wait. I do have a flashlight. We'll wait till day. Oh, okay. That works. Oh, no, Chad. I might have to go play CDDA. What mode is this? What happened to the multiplayer? Did I... What did I miss? I, I just went to go to the moon and start a colony, and I just got back. What did I miss? Oh, Chad. I've started a family. Saved a nest egg for their college, and now I'm retired. What did I miss? I love you, Chad. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Judas Goat Barbecue, by the way, dude, for the 15. That was very nice of you. Thank you. See, chat, you can make fun of me. I get to make fun of you, too. Other people are like, this is an outrage. Oh, okay, you got to pull a 180. I think we're going the wrong way. Oh, this is the river. And that's a tree. So I guess go go left across the highway and then it should be on the right after the highway. Oh yeah. No, 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 no. Cross the highway. Yep, left. And then it should just be up here on the right. Somewhere. I don't even know exactly where. Just take a right. At the t just take two rights in a row. I'm not sure exactly. Oh, there's a lot of bodies, so there's got to be it somewhere. Thank you. All right, let's, uh, boy. <laughs> So, whereabouts is your buddy? Uh, I died over here. A uh, couple of zombies coming. Uh, I think. Or maybe it's the next house. Yeah, I found it. We're good. Ah, nice. I'll look at the van key. And I'll come back and get the stuff in the morning when I can actually see. Uh oh. Everybody okay? Okay, Vandor is. Okay. Vandor is open and. Keys in the ignition. Uh, can you reverse it? Um. Wait, alright. Then I can finish up the. Yep. You want me to park it in the driveway? Like this? Yeah, like this. Okay. Alright, I'll get my stuff in the morning. Wow, this looks like a totally safe spot with no danger to zombies. Good thing we have all of our ammunition loaded and we're ready to go at all times. Right, Rick. Oh wait, uh, I can't interact with like the faucet or anything. Uh, you can't what? I can't interact with the faucet, so I must not be in your faction oh, uh, thing or yeah. something. Hold on, let me. Okay, 
sent you an invitation. How do I accept it? Uh, where does it normally pop up? Oh, clients. Uh... I don't... Well, apparently I'm in the faction already. Safe house. Oh, you. so you can only be part of one safe house, apparently. I don't that's, know. That's stupid. Uh, find the map if you can. You, uh, do you mean the Louisville map? I don't, I don't know if there's a map of Louisville. Uh, I want a few things to change with that. Why? I can't even... Oh, now I can't even leave this. Oh, there. There's a fence there. Couldn't even see it. Uh, I'll just change some server settings. Hold on. Oh, you built the fences relatively okay. quickly. It, um, sh you should be good to interact now. Uh, let's see. Next time we play too, we'll have to find some mods for factions and stuff too, so more people can oh, yeah. have multiple safe houses and stuff. Everybody did an amazing job so far. Everybody, like, I, of the bases I've seen, everybody's done a really good job. I can't right-click on the uh, faucet anymore. I can look at the cabinets, though. Oh, uh, safe house... Unless this yeah. faucet's just empty. I don't know. Uh, this was hell. Alright, when it's daytime... What time is it now in the game? I got time for a CDDA. I'm, I'm itching, boys. I want to I go on another solo run. I'll come back in the morning on the server and grab my stuff and we'll... Con We'll continue. All right, let's do. All right, Pinto Bless Wall. Tucker Hat lives again, brother. Yeah, Louisville is in uh, right. the state of Kentucky is in this game. Um, I gotta go, but I'll be on the server like fixing up the safe house. Okay. Well, F, uh, good luck. Bye. Okay, well now we have a new safe house in Louisville. That's good. Oh, great, and now the stove's on fire. It's already a rip run. We are already dead. No... This is usually how it goes in Louisville. <laughs> Everything's just on fire. Alright. Usually zombies in here. You can hear that guy just smoldering. are actually good. Rip that. Yeah, 
entire neighborhood. Oh my god, Every everything. Oh, really? Oh, come on. The entire neighborhood was on fire. Oh my god. Oh. Alright, roll again, boys. Pinto bless on that uh, bathroom not being ablaze. Amen, brother. Raptor, I'm a long-haul trucker, and I would just delivered some cargo to Waukegan, Illinois. What did I miss? Oh, that's not even fair. I'm just gonna have to run through it. Okay. I need sheets. Okay. Well, that was close. You got bitten and la you lasted 31 days? Excellent work. Excellent work. Holy crap, a zombie with a backpack. All right, let's lead everybody to the fire. All right, let's get this barbecue started. Let's go.
Well, it's going to take a little bit of work, boys. You don't remember CDDA being this swarm? Oh, they must have changed things. Clothing we can get. Oh boy, we're getting close, boys. All right, we had a couple bodies there. doing the trick. Fire's doing the trick.
All right, we're almost we're almost there. They're about ready to start dying again. There they go. There they go. I was right. there that one will be the next one the one in the little gray coat time extended that one will be next not on fire yet. Come on, green one, light on fire. There we go. Best. This would have been awesome if the uh, crowbar and some military equipment spawned in there. If we got a good bathroom spawn, and if we would have gotten a good uh, survival hut spawn, that that's the key to this one, is to, to come to this uh, little survival building. And then hope that there's like military camo and stuff in there. Nicole T, thanks for the dollar ninety nine. Your Raptor mugs arriving on Monday. All right. Thanks for buying some merch. That's exciting. 
All right, as soon as this one's dead, we're gonna go to these two. And now the real game begins. Don't I look cute? Oh, I'm so fashionable. I'm gonna wear this skirt too. And these tights. I look beautiful. Look like I'm in an apron. Uh, what happened? Like a million people subscribing right now. Did something happen? This, the bot's got to be broken. Oh God. Well, now we can have some lunch. I think the subscribe bot is broken? Unless somebody told everybody to subscribe for some reason. Did someone give me a shout out? What happened? Why is everybody subbing? That's not what I expect from a mediocre channel. The bot's gotta be broken. Hmm. Well, anyway, chat, now we can uh, get caught up. Oh, I hear fire. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. Oh, God. And then I press Q. God damn you. Damn you, Zomboid. This is my purse. I don't know you. Oh, oh, okay, that's getting a little too a little too spicy. Oh, nice. We got a sweater. Okay, I'm just going to put on a ton of clothes just so I can get warm. Nice. We're getting real warm now. Put on 63 layers. Woo! Well, Chad, this is weird. We're not, like, running from anything or dying. Isn't that weird? I'm gonna put on like seven layers of socks. Okay. No, 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 don't put those on. Oh, we're actually warming up. Okay, let's get the digital watch. The hat on. Ooh, all right. This is our best run in CDDA ever. 
You guys better say, I was here in the chat. I was here. I was here for the good run. I was here for it. A plunger. Uh, can you? There we go. Well, that was a surprise. Okay, speed and healing now severely reduced. Injury. Okay, we got a lot of pain. Dead mouse. Awesome. Glad to see he's joined the game. Uh, let's go check out the shed. Now we need to find a zombie with like a backpack or something. We'll go back in the Louisville server later. Uh, I'm a little annoyed that we had all those... Uh, all the unfortunate... Uh, Magazines that weren't loaded. What the hell? Why did we do that? At least I got 45 layers of clothing. Brenda, no. Well, now at least we're warm. Warmer. Okay, let's change these bandages. Ooh. All right, the wound on our foot healed. Okay, that's not good. The Okay, we're going to have to find... Um... We're going to have to find a suture kit. At least we're mobile now. Okay, what can we drop? Okay, a lot of this stuff we're not wearing. So we'll get rid of all that. I'm going to work my way back to the house. Letter opener. That says you're infected. Aren't you already dead? No, infection means that the wound that I had was infected. You can get... Uh, there's other ways to get infections other than just from the zombies. You can literally, like, jump a fence and cut your hand or leg or something and have to... Oh, the news van is here. Let's check the news van for tissues. Oh. Is that a cop? Oh, that's a cop. He could have a gun or something. Pretty sure that's a cop. Toys are mine, walkie-talkie. Oh, it's, uh... My first trooper. That cop had, like, a Toys R Us walkie-talkie. What? Oh, it's a rent-a-cop. That's what it was. That's a GLA radar van. Oh, Command and Conquer Generals. What a good game that was. Alright, we got a house key... Frickin' pickles? That'll fight the infection. That's better than Robitussin. Let's take off our bandage off our foot. Nice. Feet are all healed up now. Good. Whew. Well, the good thing is, is all those zombies we killed, we kind of like lured them... 
like out of town, you know? So now we can kind of check the houses, although kind of did burn everything down. Yeah, we got to find tissues. Anything else here? Let me... Okay, so we're still drunk, so we gotta, like, sleep off the, the drunkenness. Is there a bed? I know, that all burned down. 7.20 p.m. We're thirsty. We need some disinfectant? Yeah. We need Jesus, that's what we're gonna need. We can go check the garage, there could be stuff in there. Yeah, most of our house was like finished. Sleep in the van? I don't know, um... I don't know if you can sleep in a vehicle, can you? Oh, well, would you look at that? Green comfy couch. Oh, well, we have a bed. Yeah, Chad, if you're not careful, you're going to live in a van down by the river. Imagine donations with the same flow that as earlier. Chad, you can drop a super chat at any time. Nothing's stopping you. You're the one You're the one who brought it up. Go ahead. Yeah, become a Raptor Ultimate member. Why not? You know? Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Okay, I'm going to sleep in the second story of this house. Uh-oh. He's on fire. This house actually has like a bathroom. So there's a little bit of water here for us. The big problem is that we have this deep wound. Wait, does that is that a backpack? Welcome. 
stunt, 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 lock. Crazy place. Thanks for the five months as a raptor egg. Thank you very much for your support. Ooh, round neck sweater. Ooh, and a jacket. Now let's get upstairs. Oh, there's actually a bed up here. Okay, never mind. Keep the couch here to be mobile. Okay. Grab some water. We have a can opener, thank God. Uh, experiencing too much pain to sleep. Okay. So we can come back here to sleep if we find a way out of this mess. Oh, I have two of the same. Okay. Well, let's rip that. We have thread. If we can find a needle, we can solve this problem of the deep wound. I don't know how we're going to cure the uh, nasty cold, though. I don't want to go out at night, but it's kind of the only option. Well, the drunkenness is gone. Uh, current temperature is 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, we got a jacket on. Okay, was there anything else in here? Oh yeah, there was nothing in the medical cabinet. Boon, great. Hi, sir. Polo neck sweater. Yeah, it was basically everything in here. Okay, let's open up some canned tomato. Potato. Mmm, potato. And we're drowsy, great. We need to find painkillers. We go down to this house. We gotta start checking bathrooms, maybe, um... Possibility to find them in car glove boxes. I got scratched from the fall.
And now we gotta find our rolling pin. Hey, what? Oh, well, that's GG. What'd I get stuck on? Oh, there was a tree there and I, I slowed down to walk through it. Well, that's it for Tucker Hat, brother. Amen. Bitten again. Damn it. All right, well, that was the best run. So the question is, okay, so perfect start. You start in your home. You go to the bathroom. You find, like, some tweezers, some bandages, maybe some pain pills, maybe some sleeping pills. And then you uh, take that stuff over to the, basically, the area where I let them around forever and ever and ever and let them burn all out. Once they burned out, then go to the houses and see what you can scavenge. Maybe find uh, somebody in that uh, that little woodshed with the crowbar or something like that. That'll be good. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right, I want to do another one. I want to do another run. Because I'm actually enjoying this way too much. We are... In the multiplayer server, we are, we are now in Louisville. So now we're, Rick is offline on the... You know, in the call, but he's uh, he is um, still transporting stuff up to our house, and I'm gonna have to do the same probably with the van, the purple van. So we're gonna start bringing stuff back and forth. I want to go again. I want to go again. I'm loving this, man. Uh, crazy place. Thanks for upgrading to a little raptor. Appreciate the support. Yeah, I think we need the bathroom to not be in flame. Yeah, the fire effects are a little... Like, the graphic is fine, but what's really annoying is sometimes it's hard where the fire will spread. Like, if I go into the bathroom, I've gone into the bathroom before, shut the door, and then, like, the the bathtub will start on fire, and it's like, okay, that's not, that shouldn't be, okay. <laughs> it shouldn't catch fire like that. It'd be interesting if there was a way to show walls being on fire, but it only shows it on the floor. Nah, bro, we, we need a bathroom run. We need, a, we need the, the bathroom not to be on fire. Damn, I'm almost down to do a whole day of the, the hardest scenario in this game, actually. That's, like, really cool. All right, Pinto Bless. Pinto Bless. Okay, bathroom's partially on fire. So am I. There's a soap in there. All right, let's go again. Roll again. Nope. Oh my god, a sewing kit? Wait, can we use that to clear our knee- our, uh, our wound? Or do we need a needle, too? I think we might need a needle. Nope, we need a needle. Come on over, ma'am. No, 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 I'm over here. Is that a cop? A house key? It's literally my own house.
can't even see. So now we got to do this faster before nighttime. Yeah, what's up, Jerry? Good to see you in the chat, man. Now we have a watch. All right, now we got a flaming zombie. If anybody's in there. Yeah, apparently the zombies have better hearing and stuff, but Jerry explained it well by saying that, um, you know, they have, like, enhanced um, biting and, like, more, better strength and stuff, which makes sense. I will say, though, don't you think these zombies should be, like, tripping and falling over each other? Like, their ability to be so close to each other is impressive. Damn, this, like, snake... I hope I don't trap myself. That's GG again. Those damn trees. It's hard to know which ones Tucker's gonna get caught on and which one's not. Some of them you kind of have to like move through, and it's like, uh, and then some of them are too small, so it's hard to know the difference. All right, let's go back to our uh, Louisville base and go get our stuff. Hopefully, it's a daytime in the server. Okay, so so to optimize that run, I think it's like. You got to have a perfect bathroom. You got to have some good stuff in the kitchen, good stuff in the bathroom. You got to get a zombie to crawl into the house so you can get some clothes, shoes, whatever. You got to head east. You got to um, find a zombie that's on fire. Just get everybody around to just burn. Just like there's no stealth because you're just sneezing and coughing. So it's like get everybody around you. Uh, just just burn all the zombies down, and then 
once all the zombies are basically dead, which is going to take all day, it's like, okay. Then you have to get lucky by finding painkillers, otherwise you're not going to sleep and you're just going to get drowsy. Or you got to find um, sleeping pills, like one of the two, if the, if the pain is minor enough, which I don't know if that deep glass groin wound is going to be too much. And then, but then once, once you've done that, so once you've got, once you got clothes, once you got some like pills, then it's like, then you got to find a backpack. This is like, this is like base, this is exactly a, a basic start in Project Zomboid, except a hard start. Like when you start a normal game, at least you don't have to, um, at least you don't have to, um, worry about the, um. getting uh, all the other stuff resolved. So, like, you start with clothes, you start without any conditions. <sighs> all right, I think Rick's server is... All right, we were going to go back to Louisville to prepare for a bit, but it looks like the, the server, he might be making some changes to it. Um, okay, I want to go back to Louisville and start working on our base there. Oh, man, that was hell. Last two days. I, it, it feels to me once your character dies, or at least for me, I get real sloppy after that. Like when I, when we went into the mall, that was just a lag fest and whatnot. Then I went back into the server with Jerry and, and Jessica, then I died there. Then today I died too because of the, the M16 is just trouble. That is not, that is not worth the trouble. That thing jams. None of the magazines were loaded. What we call a bad time. Oh, he's adding more zombies. Oh, wonderful. Is that so nice of him? I'm going to try one more time. If not, we'll just go back to CDDA. And we'll be spending the next few streams doing Louisville. We got a lot of prep work to do to bring good stuff up to Louisville to make a outpost. This game needs to have more of that, by the way. Like, it, I think some of those things are kind of restrictive to, um, you know, like, I don't know. I don't even know what the purpose of making a safe house is, actually. Oh, I guess it, like, lowers the zombie spawn around the building. But that should be a thing. I think you should be able to, like, clear out the map eventually. Kind of like how it is in, um... Be kind of cool if they changed it to be more like State of Decay, because after the, all the zombies were cleared, you would still have the question of, all right, like what happened to society? If everything's gone, then you got to start making cities. People want power, water, food. There's gonna have to be farming. It actually would be really interesting because it would make a super super late game, because then you'd have to, um, you know, you'd have to worry about like an economy. And, like, we're, once all the fuel and stuff is gone, then it would all come down to horses again. You know, and then everything would be a horse-drawn carriage and caravans and things like that. That'd be kind of cool. All right, well, I guess the server is given some issues, so I'll try one more time. But our Louisville server is undergoing maintenance, I suppose. You can remove the zombie respawn. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do that because honestly, or maybe tone it way down, like put some more bigger restrictions on it because I feel like, I don't know. Uh, the last dev blog talked about creating a post-apocalyptic society for late game with different character builds, different occupations. Ooh. Just see, that'd be cool. Oh, the server was 15 out of 15? Oh, was it? Oh. Wait, everybody's on? Oh. I had no idea. I thought it was just, like, down for maintenance. Oh. Okay. Well, since everybody likes playing this so much, by the way, if you haven't smacked the join button yet, make sure you click or tap join and become a member and jump on our server. And I think our next server, we're just going to have to have a higher capacity. Oh, it's nighttime again. Our next server, we're just going to have to have higher capacity. Uh, the dev said spawns are broken and you need to lower it until they fix it. Oh, is it broken and stuff? Okay. Uh, where's my stuff? K. 
can't believe the mess that that M16 caused. Not worth it. The most overrated... I mean, Rick even said that he turned his, um... Rick increased his weapon skills to maximum and was doing testing, and, and like, the M16 still jams. So it's not even based on skill, which is, like... Laysai. Tucker hat lives again, brother. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna have to, uh, when we do a modded server, we're gonna have to get things exactly to our liking, so that way, you know, the spawn doesn't create legs, and, you know, like, if somebody goes on a mission to the prison to clear out the prison, it doesn't spawn 1,400 zombies somewhere else. Like, they shouldn't just appear. They should... I think the zombies really need to have a slow scale up, you know what I mean? Where over time, they come back into an area somehow very slowly. <laughs> but somebody was just like overwhelmed in Riverside and I was like, that's annoying. But I guess we'll have to figure out the server settings that are right for us and make it even more enjoyable. Was I wearing all this stuff? Oh, this is the old stuff. Firefighter jacket. Uh, T-shirt. Digital watch. I'll pick this stuff up later and throw it out. My tactical pouch. Okay, that should be everything. Except the M16 is probably still out there. I'm going to go pick that thing up. Did they have the M16 in World War II? Nope. That didn't come around until the uh, Vietnam era. And like the... Uh, Around the, around the 60s. Yeah, that's true. The M16 had a lot of issues with jamming, which is which is why they made it that way. But man, in this game, it's like you shoot three or four times and it just jams again. And it's like, damn, dude. Like, it's such a good weapon, but to balance it, it's like... It's r incredibly, incredibly unreliable. But, for the next time I create a character, I got some extra perks I want to use. Like, I think, uh, dexterity is going to be important. So that way, uh... You can transfer items between things really quickly. Alright. I'm going to go to the back of the van and, like, I, I need to, um... We need to load up with so much ammunition. Look at all this... All these zombies... To be honest, it is a good idea to shoot, to lure all the other zombies around so you can clear out an area, but I think we did it too quickly when we got here. And we need to have all these uh, 556 magazines loaded. Which they might be in Rick's car. What? No. Okay, let's see. Five, five, six magazines. And Yeah, none of the none of these were loaded, bro. Shotgun for hordes. Shotgun is a very good weapon in multiplayer with so many people that we had yesterday at the mall. It was it was impossible to tell through the sound. You know, because there's no like on screen HUD showing you ammo count, you have to do everything by sound. So you like, I know the shotgun holds six rounds, so when I fire, you know, five or six times, sometimes I'm not sure if I fired or not, and somebody else's weapon fired off, so you gotta, like, you know, you gotta, you just gotta check all the time. 
Your M16 didn't jam a single time in all your life in the military? Yeah, apparently here it's like, um, I, th I think it's actually, uh, I think the M16 traditionally is a uh, muzzle loader. One shot and then apparently it takes another uh, minute, minute man to unjam it, apparently, according to this game. Ugh. Oh, you live in Denmark? Oh, Denmark used the uh, M16. That's cool. That's cute. You have a KS7 shotgun in your basement. Reminds you of aliens. You know who had the coolest guns in movies? You guys won't even know. But you, you know who the coolest? There was a couple in a movie... I know, I know what movie it is, but we'll see if Chad can, can guess it. But they were, they were a, a couple of preppers, basically. And uh, their entire basement was just, like, filled with, like, AK, revol I mean, you name it, they had it. I mean, it may as well have been a gun. I don't even know if they had a gun store or what it was, but, yeah. Tremors. Yep. And you remember the scene where, like, the, the damn worm comes in through the, uh, like, the, the cinder block wall? And they just, like, they're just, they're just unloading and then just throws a gun and just grabs another one off the shelf because they're all preloaded. And it's like, no, no time to reload. Just grab a new gun. Imagine that, brother. Imagine that much freedom. <laughs> Imagine that much freedom. You're just like, no time. No time to reload. Damn right, Reba McIntyre was in that movie. That is fa fantastic. If you've not seen Tremors, if it's like $2 or something on, on YouTube or rental or Netflix or whatever, go watch some Tremors tonight. That movie, Kevin Bacon's in it too. Badass. Badass. That was a great movie. Anything useful? Yeah, a uh, you're right. A katana doesn't jam. Well, I'm all for, like, that's why I said when we arrived here, man, I should have just used my crowbar. That's why we got the crowbar emote. Although I don't prefer using handguns in this game either because it's like... Hmm. Actually, I wonder if a 9mm in this game is just kind of as effective as the... Uh, as like the uh, M16 in terms of like stopping power at medium range with that uh, scope. Because I feel like the M14 in this game is real plentiful but very, very underpowered. There's even a bolt-action rifle in the game and again, it's... Feels very underpowered. And we're talking about zombies, bro. So zombies should be kind of squishy, you know? They should die with like a couple 9mm hits. Not be like a fi final battle. Alright, let's check out what we got here. Peanut butter, chocolate. Okay, we can start putting food here in the... Uh, take that. Alright, we'll start putting food in the uh, center island. And this can go outside. Actually, TV dinner. Eh. Shouldn't TV dinners be frozen? All right, I'm just going to make a, a junk pile in the middle of the floor and then eventually throw it outside and light it on fire. The, those two. A uh, red pen could be useful. What do I have in my little back? Red, blue pencil. Need a just a regular pen. Hmm. MP5. Oh, yeah. 90s era guns would be cool. Like all the stuff from Commandos. Yeah, there's plenty of, uh, of gun mods. But, man, I I feel like the cool thing about this game, though, is that even for mods, like you could kind of tweak things a little bit in our server and it would be even more enjoyable. Like the whole... Like some of the things with having a ton of zombies on screen is insane. And we're pushing this game well beyond where it should be. So it's like it's not fair to be like... The game is being laggy other than like saying if we change some of our server settings we can make we can make the impossible happen. Yes, whoa wow. Uh I'm gonna I don't know where Rick wants all the pipes. I guess I'll I'll put them in the garage. Wait. Wait is that one sleeping? Oh it's dead.
This must be where he's putting all the pipes. Or not. I'll put him here. Now well, this will take a minute. Uh, Galil, yeah. Well, I guess what you could do is, like, if you wanted to simulate your own country, you could, like, for example, you, could, you can kind of pretend this were Canada. You just change a couple city names. Really, it's, even though it's based on Kentucky, it's still kind of generic USA town. Pretty accurate, though, but, like, still... But yeah, plenty of weapon mods, and my god, I'm going to get a weapon mod that makes that M16 not such a pain in the neck. Yeah, it's okay, though. Sometimes it comes down to the more you know. Yesterday was like, uh... It was such a traumatizing experience at that mall that after the stream, I was just like... I sat there for like 10 minutes after the stream and I was just like, whoa. <laughs> like, the amount of stuff that was happening, the amount of zombies, the amount of chaos in the whole server with like people being at their base and reporting like a 500% increase in spawning and, oh man. All hell broke loose. Okay, we do have upstairs. I'm going to go up there. Oh, it was yeah, it was hell. It was an absolute pandemonium. Do oh, do we have a full server? Oh, kinda, yeah. All right, new members, feel free to jump on and uh, learn Project Zomboid if you if you if you got it, or if you're a pro. Probably in the next uh, week or two, we'll probably do a full restart and let everyone kind of restart at the same time. I think a lot of people uh, started to work together really well and make some awesome bases and. There's a lot of cool things to do for POI. Points of interest like the um, like the prison. Yeah, I don't know where we're going to put medical stuff. Maybe upstairs bathroom has a medical cabinet. Indeed it does. Do 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 do. Ooh, antidepressants. Yeah, all right. Axe. Oh boy. I'll leave that downstairs. Throw the M16 in the backpack. I'll keep the M16, but man. Eh, you know what? Maybe I better grab a couple clips. Uh, for the bottom right map, you got to find one, don't you? Um, I think that can be turned on and off in the settings. Like before you start a game, but I don't know... Like every time we've played, it's been on, so... Or, well... Every time somebody else has hosted, it's been on. When I've hosted, it's off, so I think it's a thing you have to turn on and off. Oh, wait, is the storage room here? Yep. All right, I'll grab the four magazines, too. I don't want to use that M16. No way. When we showed up, I should have just went straight with the crowbar and just led the horde away. It's way better. How hard is it to mount a large gun on a truck? It'd be cool mods for that. I think there is a vehicle mod that has a gun on top of it. Well, a couple couple mods with guns on top of it, but it's not like tanks or anything. Can you clean it? Oh, the gun? Uh, there is a dirt. There's a condition. Oh, actually, this is like down less than half. That might have something to do with the jamming, actually. Oh. We can only repair the M16 with another M16? 
There's not a chance to clean it or anything? Oh, that should be a thing. There should be a way maybe to clean it to get back like maybe... I don't know, 25% of its condition or something? Well, yesterday was the first time we used guns in the game, really, and it was like... It was as fun as it was hectic. It was awesome. Yeah, the condition might be the jamming issue, but I don't know for sure. Rick did say he was doing some testing, so we'll... We'll have to find out what he... What he says. It'd be kind of cool to know the, um... The stats on that, like, how, how does the game calculate that? Like, is it... If the condition is less than 50%, then does the j gun jam 25% more, 50% more, 200% more? Like, I'd love, I'd love to see the numbers on that. Oh, Dennis, I completely agree. More events would be amazing in the game. Yeah, because really all you get is, what, the helicopter event? Uh, house alarms, which are kind of, a, of an event. Sometimes there's stuff on the road, like a police roadblock or something that you can find. Flamethrower? No. There are there are Molotovs and explosives that you can craft as the engineer, which seems like an incredibly cool uh, class to take to like be able to make bombs and such. I would like it if they added other events to watch out for besides zombies, like during a storm you have tornadoes or lighting strikes or having to get off a street to avoid an airstrip on a herd. Ooh. Oh, that'd be really cool if there was like a... It'd be really cool if they... There were other story modes, like, for example, let's just say, I don't know, all of Kentucky was cordoned off, and they were, the army was still flying in supplies and stuff, so anybody who wasn't infected could go to the airstrips. There was, like, a airstrip, uh, you know, it's easier to fly supplies in than people out or something. I don't know. It'd be interesting. Are there, are, Chad, is there, um, are there, um, are there modded events in the game? Like, does anyone have an event mod? They could add a nice challenge mode like Accumulator, but for more gun-focused. Yeah, I agree. They plan to add stuff like that in the game. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A woman, like, somebody screaming off in the distance. Uh, gunshot randomly. I forgot about those. Can you move storage shells? Yeah. You'll need to have certain skills to do it, but, yeah, you can move it. Or s some things require a certain skill. Like to pick up a TV and move it, no problem. But if you want to move like a... If you want to move this bookshelf, it requires a, a hammer to move it. Which kind of implies that you're not just sliding it from here to here. That you're actually like ripping it apart, taking all the panels and stuff, loading it into your backpack, and then reassembling it somewhere else. What are my skills at now? Oh, we basically we died, so it's all basically zero. Although I should have, I should make it. I should die again and make a new character that's much different. Because we went, we went down the farmer tier to see how farming was in the game. I was inspired by Nurse to do uh, a farming run, but let's take a look here. In retrospect, oh wait, no, I think actually I respawned as a firefighter this time. So our firefighting skills are, or what, the axe skills are up. Huh. It would be nice to do a... It'd be kind of cool if the, uh, if the burglar had, like, crowbar skills. You know, ex extra, like, long blunt uh, perk or whatnot. Okay, so our base now is... Fun seeing my city in a game and trying to figure out where everything is in real life to the map. Oh, really? Yeah, there is a uh, official map online, too, uh, that shows everything. There's West Point, uh, Louisville, Maldro, uh, Rosewood... New member. I, for I forgot that one. Riverside. The hell, I forgot the name of that city. Chat, what was what's the name of these two? I forgot. Oh, this is wait. Oh yeah, this is Rosewood. That's March something. Oh yeah, March Ridge, yeah. March Ridge, that's 
No, that's not rosewood. This? Yeah, that's rosewood, yeah. Rosewood, March Ridge, Maldro, Riverside, um, West Point, and Louisville's like massive. Not to mention the area around, it's crazy. A candidate, thanks for the four ninety nine and Stormcloud. Thank you very much for upgrading to a Raptor Hatchling. Yeah, cool, very good. Okay, so I guess the goal now is to find another. We got to get some good uh, hauling vehicles to bring things back and forth. A few more supplies here to this newer base. So everybody who comes to Louisville, the the best thing to do is to come through the checkpoint next. That's the highway next to the river. And it's really light with zombies. Not not too many in there. Pass through. Check the uh, check the boxes for ammunition or guns or whatever. And then uh, I guess go across the highway intersection to the suburban area there. Or the Jerry method, which is good, is to go to an industrial building. Good thing about industrial buildings is there's few ways in, also few ways out, but. If you can fortify it and make a nice fence, then they won't come near you. And somebody actually made a base down here. This is actually a very smart place for a Louisville base. Some people fortified down here, and this is smart. They've got lots of fuel. They've got food growing. I think these are trailer parks here. And then it's a very short drive to get into town. That's a good, that's a good thing. Let's take a look at the official map. Oh, by the way, we got new members, so maybe we should read some new uh, new, new puns. Let's see. Let's try some new puns. Uh, let's see. I seem to only get sick on weekdays. I must have a weekend immu immune system. What does a baby computer call its father? Data. After an unsuccessful harvest, why did the farmer decide to try a career in music? Because he had a ton of sick beats. Wow. That is horrible. That actually makes me mad. Okay, so anyway, just so we know where we're at now, this is our planning phase then. So the house I'm in right now is like... I think this one. I think. Anyway, over here is the is an elementary school here. So probably there's a bunch of backpacks and not much else. A lot of suburban homes to clear, my goodness. And this looks like a community center church, maybe? Yeah, it's definitely a church a couple of church buildings here. Um, video store, motel, what is this building? Oh, it's, it's like storage for the, uh, for the Chapel Mount Downs horse track. Okay, well, there's a horse track. A lot of buildings on the river. I mean, we are we using a Brita's mod? No, I I always say there's no mods. There is like we're using like two or three vehicle mods that Rick didn't want to live without. But um, it's okay. It's basically it's basically no mods. It's like cars that have slightly higher storage and stuff like that. Which I'll say I, I think that's cool. I think there should be more cars in the game too. But the devs have I mean for a very small team have done an insane amount of work. Look at the Louisville Mall here. This is the grand. Ohio Mall. That's going to be insane. Oh, there's a gun store there. The last time we raided... This is a pretty big mall, too. I would say that the one down here is just a little bigger in size, but, the, you know, what matters is how many zombies pour out of it. So this one has... It has, like, two layers to it. Like, two two floors. Oh, it's the Crossroads Mall. <gasps> Bone Thugs? So the Crossroads Mall is pretty damn big. 
and the Ohio Grand Ohio is pretty big too. Although I think it's only one story. No, nope, it looks like two. Oh, there's a Gigamart in there. That's food. Oh, that's it. That's what what's at the front. Oh yeah. Oh, oh baby. There are mods to get you to spawn inside this town right away. I feel like if I spawned in Louisville, there'd never be a reason to leave. Anybody recognize anything? Anybody from uh, Louisville know what this park is next to the the old railroad tracks? The rail yard there. This is a really good map for planning too. If you're trying to get people together, I don't know. I feel like I feel like if I was in Kentucky when this went down, and you were like, I don't know of some age of like 25 to 35, you'd know a lot of this stuff. Like you'd know where, if you lived your whole life in uh, Kentucky, you'd know where the Grand Ohio Mall was. You'd know at least where all the POIs were. You know, you might not know exactly where suburban neighbor neighborhoods and stuff were. Yeah. <laughs> Race zombies on the horse track, yeah. Sp we got a Spiffos there, which means... Possibly food. Oh, yeah, the police department. Oh, boy. And it's a police department and detention center. So you got a mini mini jail in the back. Almost like a... That's actually quite... That's quite a lot of jail cells. That one floor, too. Looks like that could be a two-story jail. Oh, wow. It act, wait, it has a skyway connecting it. Oh, this is more of the police... Wait. Looks like a medical center? Ooh, there could be a lot of... Oh, this is like a massive evidence room. Wow. Yeah, some things are renamed for copyright purposes. Obviously, they're not, they're not going to have a Walmart in the game. Or a... Uh, you know, a Starbucks. Well, this is also 1993, so... Ooh, is this the, uh... Is this the, uh... Ooh. Ooh. Courthouse, maybe? Oh, City Hall. Courthouse must be nearby, then. Yep, there it is. Courthouse is connected to the... Oh, wow. Yeah, this, this is a substantial downtown area here. Police department connected to the courthouse... There's like some medical bays down here too. Uh, looks like another shopping area. Wait, can you go inside this building? Ooh, oh wow. Like a seven story office building. Holy crap. That could be Cherokee Park here. It'd be an interesting place to build a base. If you, like, secured this little, um... Hold on a second. We got visitors. Ma'am? Frickin' rude. Yeah, POI means point of interest, which basically means, like, area that's uh, more worth your time than not in this game. Meaning, like, a gun store, a food store. Not not necessarily, like, a library or museum or something, but it'd be kind of cool to make a base here. Look, you'd have a ton of trees around to cut down for firewood. Ooh, maybe you could go fishing. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, you could play basketball, so you could one-on-one -on -one a zombie in a sick game of b-ball? Wow. Think about that. How am I doing? Good. Grand Ohio Mall might be the Jefferson Mall or St. Matthews. Maybe. Keep in mind, this is 1993, so names may have changed. The game's lore takes place in 1993, so... Oh, did the game crash? The Fossil Oil Baseball Field, yeah. Whatever this is called now, they renamed it to the Fossil Oil, which is their little generic brand. Uh, server shut down. Oh, Rick must be making some changes. Or whatever, that's okay. 
We're just planning out our route. That's cool. We're, we're safe in the house now. So we are safely inside of Louisville, and we got our little, uh, our little HQ set up, so that's good. You'll win 1v1 every time. That's true, but those zombies have some sick moves. That's for sure. Rick's probably just doing a restart and saving some stuff. So this is interesting. We got we got to figure out a few things in this game next time. We got to figure out um, we got to figure out like how we should do the zombie spawns differently. Um, number of zombies per player. I think like I think we could set a maximum cap for the map, not per player. Just be like, hey, ten thousand zombies sounds like enough. That seems like that seems like more than enough zombies. Ten thousand. Yeah, there's other maps other than Kentucky. There's a Cherbourg and there's a... Oh, uh, chat, what's the name of that Resident Evil map? Maybe we could play that. There's, uh, it's called like... Um, El, uh, some, Raven Creek, is that it? Or something like that? Apparently it's similar to Raccoon City. That'd be cool. I don't mind playing like a faked map, you know, that's based on some other lore. Yeah, Rick said the Russian map is not complete, so I don't know if it's working for version 41 or not. It's all good. Sorry for the restart. Tried to apply settings on the next restart. Oh, that's fine. You're all good, Rick. Don't worry about it, man. We'll get. We'll, we'll change some more settings for... Actually, <coughs> to be honest, since we're here at the point of going into the into the big city, we're, we're basically going into Manhattan. Well, it's like New York City, baby. This is like the big one. We may as well make it May as well make it so that way it's a little easier to uh, to do things. Oh, you added 10 player slots? Awesome. So we can have 26 people in the server. Oh, damn. If we're going to have 26 people, then we better be ready for the big one. If, if 26 people can be on our server at, at any time, that means that we're going to have a hell of a lot of zombies. We better figure out the zombie spawn because that could crash the server if everybody gets on at the same time. That's awesome, man. Very cool. Oh, 20 open slots? Oh, good. Or whatever, whatever it may be, uh, there's gonna be they're gonna be hell to pay. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna continue to play on our uh, our our community server now, and then when we go to do a restart for mods, that's gonna be incredibly exciting. So our next big goal is to get through uh, Louisville. That's gonna be cool. The well, really, just to get through the big city. The big city should be fine, and we'll see where we can go. We'll try to make our way all the way to the mall in the back. Should be a good time. Should be a good time indeed. You'll fix it later. That's fine. All right, guys. I'm going to get out of here and uh, get ready for the next stream in a little while. Thanks again for all your support. Thanks for watching and whatnot. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed a little mix of uh, CDDA. Seems like it's getting more possible to do. And we'll come back for more of the attack in the big city soon. And we'll kind of come up with some more stuff to do in the meantime. Should be a lot of fun. So make sure you subscribe. Spam that like button too. And we'll be back uh, tomorrow and we'll continue into the weekend. And then we'll start talking about mods and modded servers. So if you got suggestions, jump on the Discord. Let us know. New members, you're welcome on the Discord too. I'll see you guys in a little bit for our next stream. Thanks for watching.